Meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of your life because the Mets are really sucking the ball. Knocking those home runs over the wall. East side, west side. Everybody's coming down to meet the M-E-T-S Mets of New York Town. Oh, the butcher and the baker and the people on the streets. Where do they go? To meet the Mets! Oh, they're hollering and cheering and they're jumping in their seats. Where do they go? Finally, how's it going, Mets and baseball fans? Thank you all so much for first chiming in. I'm waiting for it to be made official, but it's literally everything but. It really does look like Max Scherzer is a New York Met. I'm about to lose my mind. I know that everyone is in the chat right now. Guys, everyone, a hype in the chat right now. Max Scherzer does look like he is, in fact, coming to Queens. A three-year, $130 million deal out of 43 mil AAV. We streamed for roughly eight hours yesterday. Now we're here back on the channel today. It does look like Mad Max is, in fact, coming to Queens. I'm about to lose my mind. I just want to be made officially official. They're in the final steps. They're just finalizing the details, but I don't think that this is not backing out at all. It looks like that this is coming to fruition, folks. So we're going to be live this entire time throughout the process. Everyone, how are we feeling right now? Hype in the chat, everybody, for first chiming in. Thank you all so much in advance. I know that we don't got much on the graphic right now. That's just because of how there really isn't much else to say. I have a whole graphic if this does, in fact, come to fruition. So we're right there. We're literally, it's all it's all but official. Let me put it that way. I know that people are already saying that he's a Met. I do believe that he's, in fact, a Met. We just need it to become official, and then we're going to go crazy. I'm already feeling crazy as it is, though. Hyped everybody in the chat. I know we got a bunch of donations. I want to address those quick before we go any further, folks. Again, thank you all so much, everyone, first time in the live stream. Love and appreciate you guys so much. Dave with the $10 donation. Hi, Warrior. We got him, Elf GM. We're, we, we literally just about have him. Yes, I agree. Dave, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Hype in the chat to Dave. Guys, oh my goodness gracious. I'm just glad that actually happened at a noon time so I won't have to roll out of bed and just go, you know, not even be here. Dave with a $5 donation again buys in another pitcher next. That would be awesome. Dave, thank you again for another donation. I don't want to miss anyone else's donos if they did donate here. So I'm going down the list right now. Get hyped to everybody in the chat right now. Dude, it literally looks like we're about to get Mad Max. I'm, I'm going to pass out. I really am. Darren with the $8.99 donation. Thank you so much, Darren. Wardy, is this real life? Oh, my God, man. I've almost wet myself with excitement. <laughs> Max is a Met. I'm buying you a limited beers when I see you next season. Oh, you're the best, Darren. Thank you so much for the donation. Hype in the chat for Darren. Oh, my God. I'm literally, oh, my God, guys. You have no idea how freaking stoked I am right now. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm literally going to get myself sick. Yo, this is insane. This is insane. I don't give a rat's ass that he's 37. If you guys are critiquing this deal at all, you're not paying attention. I promise you that. Okay, so right now we are in the final stages. It is being finalized on a three-year, $130 million deal. So if that's the case, the Mets are going to avoid going potentially four years to Scherzer, which is awesome. Because, again, if they can get him on three years, this is great. They're throwing high AV to him, rightfully so. I'm feeling, I'm feeling electric right now. I know you guys are, too. We've been waiting so long for this. Oh my God! Just please, please. We're literally, we're. It's finalized. It's all. It's literally there. I just want it to be official, man. You have no idea how much PTSD we all get as Mets fans until it's officially official. But we, it does look like that. We are there, folks. Hype in the chat, everybody. 
Steve Cohen wipes with, uh, with 40 million. This is a great contract. Buys his next elf GM. Elf GM indeed. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Mets make more moves today too with everything leading up to the lockout this December. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, my man. Then with the $2 donation, this is like Tom Brady signed with the buck. It, it is in certain senses. I can see why you draw those similarities for sure. Ben, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Stephanie becoming a new member on the channel. Thank you, Stephanie. Hype in the chat for Stephanie Rubio for becoming a new channel on Wardy NYM. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yo, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. Guys, let me know in the chat, too. Do we have any further reports? Uh, thank you for the kind words, Joseph, about the live stream last night. I appreciate that. We did hit 11K. So thank you so much for that, folks. Again, we're going to be um, doing do two giveaways this week because of that as well. Just, oh my goodness. Thank you, Matt. That's hilarious. Guys, help us get a 500 likes for the first short-term goal in the stream. We would really appreciate it uh, as we as we kind of, it's all, it's all there, folks. I'm just reading more tweets as it transpires right now. When Scherzer completed, says Joel Sherman, Mets payroll will project to be around $265 million. I don't think they are done. No, they're not. Of course, they can trade some surplus money, but with Scherzer and potentially Seager off Dodgers, and why I'm almost certain to become the number one payroll in ba baseball. We all know that. No one should be surprised that the Mets are about to be number one payroll in baseball. I'm just, it, the fact that this is actually happening is just mind boggling me right now. Dude. It's absolutely, I'm, again, I'm, I'm literally, I, I, I <sighs> 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 that's how I'm feeling right now, everybody. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. Hype in the chat, guys. Oh, my God. Yo, we're really about to be there, folks. We're really about to be there. Let's effing go. Oh, my God. We got another donation in the chat. Thank you so much for the donation. Oh, my goodness. John Goldberg with the $5 dono. LF, LF, of course, let's effing go, my man. Mets Nation, what's up? Bing Bon. All hype, folks. Guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? That looks like Mad Max is actually coming to Queens. On a scale of 1 to 10, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat right now. We'll get a poll going, too. Let me get a poll going, folks. Hold on. Bane Bond is right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just just the thought of DeGrom and Scherzer in the same rotation is... is oh, my... I, I don't even... I don't even know what else to say. It, it, it's really like, oh my God. Oh my God. And the, Met, the, the Mets don't even have a manager, bro. They're doing this. It's insane what they're doing. It's absolutely nuts what they're doing right now. We did it. We're Yes, we're literally right there. We are just about there. Hyped everybody in the chat again, folks. And the Mets are nearing a deal finalizing when Mad Max Scherzer, three years, $130 million to bring one of the best pitchers in baseball over the past decade plus to Queens alongside the best pitcher in baseball and Jacob DeGrom. That has to feel good. Juan Papo with a $20 donation. Yo, Warrior, watching this at work, LFGM. So everyone me and show my man uh, Warrior some love. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Juan Papo, thank you so much for the donation, my man. You're an absolute beauty. Hype to everybody in the chat that's first chiming in. Thank you so much again for the donation. David Choi, $1 donation. Thank you so much for that, David. Really, really appreciate that. Ravens win another $5 donation. New York Mets about to turn to Manchester City, but I don't care. Let's have and go Mets. No, we're gonna, hopefully we're going to have a lot of success, right? Again, appreciate the donation, my man. Hype in the chat to my boy Ravens with another $5 donation. Hype in the chat to everybody first coming in right now, folks. Another donation from Steve, Stephen A. Thank you, my man. 100, I am so excited. And they are breaking the news, talking about the deal on MLB Network. Awesome. I don't have MLB Network pulled up right now. I'll probably pull it up in a second. Oh my goodness gracious, this is absolutely, yo, oh my goodness, Tim, Tim with the hundred dollar dono, just bam, let me get the bane, you know the drill, oh my goodness, Tim, hyper the chat for 10 with the hundred dollar donation, my goodness gracious, hyper the chat folks, oh my god, Tim, thank you so much for that hundred dollar donation, you are the absolute man, love you my man, hyper the chat to Tim, guys, guys, holy shit, you guys are the absolute best. Okay, everyone say to check the Martino tweet. I'll do it right now. Tim, thank you again so much for the $100 donation. You're an absolute beauty. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, there's nothing new on the Martino front. No. We're all Look, Mets are just in, in, are still finalizing. It's pretty certain that it looks like that he is going to be going to the New York Mets. So that that's where that's where we're at right now. It's uh, it's literally all but official. They're in the finals. They're literally finalizing. So all they have to do is just get all the little the simple little details 
banged out, just like the Billy Upler situation. So I think it's very, I think it's very safe to say that Max Scherzer is a New York Met. Um, again, we'll wait a little bit before I go ahead and change the thumbnail to say that he actually landed here and stuff. But we're off. We're, we're literally right there. So again, shout out everybody. Mad Max is coming to Queens, folks. I feel damn good. I know that you guys do too. I'm, I'm about to lose my mind. I just, as someone who gets literally crazy until something is like officially official, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. How, I'm, I don't know how to feel. All I know is I'm feeling insane right now. And it looks like, yes, Billy Epler is finally getting that starting pitcher that I always wanted during his time in the LA Angels, which goes to show you ownership makes an effing difference. Shout out Artie Marino for being a bum. Okay, you take Thor. Unfortunate, but we get Mad Max. I will live with that just fine. $20 donation from Dave. You're so happy. I'm so happy too, Dave. Thank you so much for the donation. Hi, the chat to Dave as well with the $20 dono, folks. My goodness gracious, this really looks like it's about to happen. Oh my god. Ah yo, let's go. Like seriously. Oh, I'm gonna I'm hundred percent passing out on the stream at some point. Dave, thank you so much for the $20 dono. Um, as the Yankees fan, I'm depressed watching our cross town rivals make moves and we stay quiet. How the how the roles have changed. I, I've been tell I've been telling Yankees fans all along. Expect this. Trust me. There's going to be more things like this. Uh, I, I, I apologize for you, Mike. I appreciate you. You've been a great supporter on the channel. Great member. But yeah, yeah, we got we got two teams in, in the MLB in New York that know how to spend. And one of them actually has more money than the other. And no, it's not the Yankees, which is insane to think about. But again, appreciate the donation. Hype in the chat to you, my man. Really, really appreciate that. $2 donation here from Felix. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's go. Guys, this is literally, this changes everything. And the fact that the Mets are doing this before we even get the lockout is even more sweet. Literally, the thought, just, just knowing that the Mets are going to have the head of the rotation, Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer, is godly. All You only see this in, like, MLB The Show, not in real life. Two best pitchers in baseball, past decade, lined up, back-to-back -back in this rotation. What else is there to say? It's insane. It's literally insane. Just the thought of it is absolutely insane. Felix, thank you again for the $2 donation, my man. Darren with a $5 donor. Thank you so much, Darren. Can we build a statue for Billy Epler? I, the man, the myth, the legend on the wall behind me. Shout out to Billy Epler. What an absolute beauty. Again, what? No GM even comes close to Billy Epler with the New York Mets. No one even comes close. Hype for war. Yes, Mama Warren. Appreciate you. Yes. Pen Mets, $10 donation. Congrats on 11K. For all the people that complained last week about Steve Cohen, this is why you wait until to the end to judge. We officially have an owner that is not afraid to spend. Absolutely. Pen Mets, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Really, really appreciate that. Again, folks, if you're just chiming in, the Mets are, in fact, finalizing a three-year, $130 million deal with Mad Max outside of Jacob DeGrom, arguably the best pitcher in baseball still, even at the age of 37. Absolutely insane. I still am trying to wrap my head around it. It's going to take a while. Thank you so much again for the donation. I really, really appreciate that. Hype in the chat, everyone as well. Tim Dog with the $5 donation. Can't wait for the Mets Scherzer merch. Oh my goodness. I'm 100% getting a Scherzer jersey. This is huge. Gets fans of the ballpark. Cohen doing what George used to do for the Yankees. Exactly. And Cohen, Cohen, look, for all the for all the hate that this man has surprisingly, and I say that me, like with whole heart, surprisingly gotten first year as ownership, there's no denying how much he has changed this team for the better. Starling Marte, Mark Hanna, Eduardo Escobar, Max effing Scherzer, and you're not even done this offseason? Um, it's just music to my ears. Absolutely music to my ears. I am floored at what is transpiring right now, guys. I'm literally shaking. Like, I don't know how to comprehend what is happening. Let's go. <laughs> Tim, thank you for the $5 donation. Let's see. A Psy Guy 5, thank you so much for becoming a member. Hype in the chat for Psy Guy. Taiwan Walker, uh, just tweet happy emojis. Yes, it does look like Mad Max is coming to Queens. Indeed. Hi, in the chat to Taiwan. Um, oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Psy Guy, for the five uh, for the membership. Really appreciate that. CD Splash, you said you would kiss the upper poster. I will. I will. I will. We'll do it right now. If you guys were watching the stream last night, I said if this happens, I'm kissing the Epler poster. We're doing it right now, folks. There's no going back. There's no going back. There you go. Hi, hype, hype in the chat to Epler. Uh, not Epler. Epler. We love the man. Absolute beauty to bring in a Cy Young Award finalist in 2021, a multi time Cy Young Award winner, an eight time All Star, 3000 Strikeout Club, Mad Max coming to Queens. Book it. I never thought this day was going to happen. I, ne I literally, I never did. I, I thought it was a, I truly thought it was a pipe dream. You guys have been following along in previous streams and you knew that I was really saying, oh, oh stop it with the Scherzer talk. It's not, 
until proven otherwise it's not happening but guess what i've been proven otherwise so let's go <laughs> um Efrain with the five dollar donation thank you per john Heyman. it's a done deal is it official is it a i haven't seen anything from Heyman to say it's official yet It's, it's literally fine. It's everything but official right now. That's what it is. Oh, my God. J j oh, my goodness. I just, I, I just still, it's 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 unofficially official. That's what I'm going to say. It's there. It's 100% there. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, Fran. I appreciate that. Freddie Freeman to Tigers. What a way to wake up. Freddie Freeman to the Tigers. What? What are you talking about, Insanity? Where is that coming from? I don't, that ain't happening. I <laughs> appreciate the donation, though, uh, Insanity. It really does mean a lot. Matt's and his agent woke the beast and cone. He absolutely did. He 1000% did. Hi, in the chat to you, David. Thank you so much for the support and the donation. Money moves only. 100% money moves only. That's what. That's how I'm feeling right now, Michael. That's exactly how I'm feeling. Money moves only, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. Vin, $5 donation. Tell me something, Noah Syndergaard. Don't, uh, don't you regret not coming to the Mets? <laughs> like, don't you regret not coming to the Knicks? I get it. Thank you so much for the donation, Vin. I appreciate it. Hype in the chat for Vin. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I, Doug Rush. Everyone check Doug Rush. What's up, What's up, Spencer? What's up, everybody in the chat right now? Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the stream. Mad Max is coming to the Mets. Let's have him go. Let's go. We're literally there. Hold on. Checking Doug Rush right now. Oh, I think he's talking about Baez, saying that the Mets are still in the mix. Hold on, folks. I'm just double-checking everything. Just double-checking everything. Oh, my God. Absolutely nuts. It's Aiden NYR on Twitter. Awesome. Thank you for being here, my man. Let's go. Everyone's so hyped. I love it. Jerry with the ten dollar donation. Thank you so much for that, Jerry. Hype in the chat for Jerry with a ten dollar donation. Really, really appreciate that. Hype in the chat, all you beauties. Thank you all so much. Really, really does mean a lot. Two dollar donation here from Dave as well. Thank you so much, Dave. Baseball channel is saying it's officially done. Uh, what baseball channel is saying it's officially done? Let me know. Again, it's 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 fine. It's finalizing. So I'd say it's it's right about there, one hundred percent. And guys, we're getting we're almost at 300 likes in the stream array. Make sure to continue smashing that like and subscribe on. We're trying to get a 500 likes for the first short-term goal. And thank you so much in advance, everybody. Uh, $2 donation here from Arnold Lee. This team went from shopping at Walmart to Gucci. 100%. Talk about a difference between the Wolpons and now, yes, Steve Cohen, Billy Epler. Let's go. That's <laughs> all I got to say. Let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yo, this is this is insane. I, this is absolutely insane, guys. This is nuts. Hold on, everybody. Okay, folks, folks, do you, folks, do you think we should change everything to saying that the Mets signed Scherzer? Because it's it's finalized. You know, this is something that could take a little bit because of medical and things like that. You know what I mean? I I, I feel pretty I pretty I feel pretty confident saying that this in, is in fact a done deal. You know, it, it's just it'll it, it needs to be made official, but it really feels like it's a done deal because everything's finalized. I think we're kind of all under that same agreement right now. I don't see how anything changes at this point. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. It, they, they're they're literally there. They're literally there on three years, 130 mil. Martino, okay. Oh wait, wait. Andy, Andy, Andy bomb. Let's check Martino, folks. Let's check Andy right now. We're checking Andy. Mets and Scherzer is happening per source. Very last details being worked on. Mets game. him. Let's go. Fucking go! Ah! Let's go! Ah! Let's effing go!
guys, guys, I'm I'm gonna throw up. I'm literally gonna throw I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna throw up all in unison. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, it's it's happening. It's happening. It's it's literally happening. Max Scherzer coming in the New York Mets. Ah, let's go. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God. Ah. Uh. Atlanta, enjoy your World Series now. <laughs> Tim with the twenty dollars donation. Thank you, Tim. Mets get Mad Max and Bias Day. Watch, be streaming all day, Tyler. I mean, I I don't know if Bias will be back to back like that. That would be insane. That would be absolutely insane. Thank you so much for the donation, though. I appreciate that. Oh my God, guys. Yes, it does. Met, Mets. I would. Yeah, Mets. Mets have signed Scherzer. We're going in. I think it's there. I 100% think it's there. It's it's literally there. Twenty dollars donor from Tim. Tim, thank you so much, my man. Hype in the chat, everybody. Orphanage, I don't get the hype for such a mid-pitcher. <laughs> I, I get the jokes. Orphanage DeGrom, I think you're you're going to benefit from having him behind you in the rotation. Don't worry. Thank you so much for the donation. Hype to everybody, guys. Hype to everybody in the chat right now, folks. SNY breaking news. Okay, yes, yeah. I know that Andy, Andy did the bomb. I think we got it. I think that we did get it. All right, folks, let me change a uh, couple things here real quick, and then we'll, we'll continue. We'll get going. We'll, br we'll break down everything there is to know about this, man. There we go. Your boy's prepped. We're always prepped. Let's go. New Andy Bomb. Yes, done deal. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yes. Ah, it's done. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Finally. Talk about a splash! Let's go! Hype in the chat! Guys, this is what we've been dreaming of, literally! This is insane! This is absolutely insane! Oh my god! What? I'm changing the time. Oh my god, it's done! Mad Max is coming to Queens! Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this just happened. I I genuinely cannot believe this just happened. We're almost at 300 likes in the chat. Thank you so much for that, folks. Love and appreciate all you guys. Hype in the chat. Oh, oh my God. I Similar to the $20 donation. Let's go. Absolutely. Mets get their man. The 37-year-old stud is coming to Queens. This guy's too, too dramatic for me. You get, all you got to do is head out of the stream. No no sweat off my back. Appreciate the donation, Simo. Thank you so much for that. Thank you all so much for the donations. Gabe, opening uh, day two. Uh, Jared, I don't even know what you said there. I Eikhoff? Day two, uh, Anthony Bandana. <laughs> Anthony Banda. Shout out to Anthony Banda. That's funny. Thank you for the donation, Gabe. I appreciate that. Hype it to everybody in the chat, folks. Mets have gone Mad Max, according to Anthony. I mean, Andy Martino. Talking about Andy, for him to be the one to break this news, too, is just absolutely nuts. Oh, my God. Hold on one second, folks. All right, guys, I've just been informed of a couple awesome things. Yes, it's official. Max Scherzer is a New York Met. 
Ah, oh, let's go. Another thing to keep in mind too, folks, is the fact that uh, according to an article that came out earlier today by Jeff Passan, there's actually a possibility we might not have a lockout. So keep that in mind. We might not have a lockout. It's actually not as certain as what it initially looked like it was going to be. And the Mets are still heavily ingrained with Javi Baez. So there's a lot going on. The Mets may very well get Baez today too. But guys, can we take a moment to appreciate that Max Scherzer is a New York Met? Can we take a moment to appreciate that? Seriously. I just, the man, literally, who would have thought that this guy would be coming to Queens? I said, yes, I know that money talks. I'm fully aware of that. But we're at a point now, man, where it's, I just, I can't believe it actually works. I, I, I literally cannot believe it works. I really can't. Yep, deal's official. Let's go. Hype in the chat, everybody. Deal is official. Max Scherzer deal with is done. Oh, my God. Three years, $130 million and opt out after the second season. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I doubt that Max is going to opt out after his age 39 season. I don't see that happening at all, especially with him making 43 mil a year. But I can't. I just can't believe it happened. Oh, my God. Oh my god absolutely insane oh my god passing said it's done it's official folks max scherz is coming to queens max scherz is coming to queens guys you can't tell me to calm down i don't give a rat's ass if you want me to calm down or not i'm fucking hyped you gotta tell me to calm down we have the two best pitchers in baseball in the same rotation you're gonna tell me to calm down take that nonsense somewhere else i don't got time for that been waiting so all of us Mets fans have been dying for something like this for the longest time. No one thought that Max Scherzer would become the Mets. They have single-handedly taken over this offseason, and it's not even close. It's not even remotely close with what the Mets have managed to do here. Oh my god. Three dollar donation from Matthew. Thank you so much. Just 100 percent um match the Scherzer deal for you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the donation, Matthew. Thank you so much. Hi to everybody in the chat right now. Yes, Mad Max is in New York Met. We got here, opt out, concern with age. I'm still excited. Bring back Javi. Look at how well both he and Lindor play together offensively, defensively. Absolutely. I, I'm not, I'm not, I think opt out works good for both sides. I don't see why Max would opt out though at that age and knowing the money he's getting though. So I really don't think that's much of a concern. The only way I can see that happening is if the Mets, for whatever reason, don't succeed and then he wants to go elsewhere to try to have a better chance. That would be the only thing that makes sense to me. But Sam, appreciate the do donation a lot, my man. Hopefully, we can get some hobby news tonight, tonight as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Doesn't matter that Bob tweeted. It doesn't matter. Mets got him. They literally got him. Guys, guys, let's go through. Let's, let's have fun. Let's go through the Scherzer numbers, folks, shall we? Let's go through the Scherzer number, folks. Max Scherzer, you know. 2,536.2 innings pitched, 190 wins, 97 losses, over 3,000 strikeouts, a career 3.16 ear rate, 1.08 whip, a 3.13 FIP. Guys, this is in literally insane. For what he's done at his age, especially, this is just groundbreaking. This is literally, this is the best news that uh, any Mets fan could ever imagine right now, I think for the most part. Now the Mets have the rotation unlocked for the top two. We'll see what they do with the rest of it. I'm sure that we'll get more news on the approach shortly. I'm curious if they will target someone like a Carlos Rodon or potentially, you know, other options out there in free agency or the trade market. There's still plenty to go after. I don't know. I, I don't feel strong that Marcus Stroman comes back, but again, we'll see how this all unravels. All I know is that Max Scherzer is officially a New York Met, baby. Like it does, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, it really doesn't. Wow. 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 Darren with the $5 donation. Love you, man. Black jersey jersey is a must. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that, my man. I really appreciate that. Hype in the chat too, Darren, again. Uh, Timothy with the uh, $10 donation. Well, you're not even in the chat. Let's have me go, Mets. Spam the chat. Um, let's go. Cursing is okay for today. Absolutely. It is okay for today. Bane Bond. <laughs> Hype in the chat. Thank you so much for the donation, Tim. I really appreciate that. Hype in the chat all you guys. Been following you since Bauer. 
this uh this one's for him bauer <laughs> go after yourself i don't know what this translate do you guys know what kind of currency this is i honestly don't know but regardless of what the number is thank you so much alex i really appreciate that i don't look the Mets didn't get Bauer, but instead a year later, they get Mad Max. I think that works out in the end. I don't know about you, but I think that works out in the end 1,000%. Where I got to donate just because you're working so damn hard. Oh, thank you so much, Daniel. You were a huge uh, support yesterday, uh, last night, even though still early this morning with the donations and the support. I really appreciate that. Oh, my Michael Mayer. I'll check Michael Mayer. I'll check, I'll check Michael Mayer. Everyone's freaking out. Okay, this is according to Michael Mayer, folks. Heard the Mets are still looking at bringing in additional starting pitching. They want to add a reliever as well and haven't ruled out signing another position player. Key point, the Mets aren't done. Yes, again, I'm not... Obviously, the Mets aren't done here. I didn't expect them to be done after signing Scherzer. But now that they got Mad Max, now that they have this rotation on lock for the top two, man, oh man, this this takes them truly to another level. As, it, as things stand right now with the rotation, again, I do think it's going to change. I think that they're going to bring in at least one more starter. Right now, they have Mad Max, Jacob deGrom. Then you have Tywin Walker, Carlos Carrasco, one of uh, David Pearson or Tyler McGill. Odds are they're going to bring in at least one more piece is what I'm expecting right now. And, and I 100% do think that they're still in on bias. I do. Mets tweet and Pat. I, I know Mets tweet um uh LGM. I know that much. More like LFGM. Wow, Jeff Fasten's trying to get on the Mets hype train right now. You know what? No, no, Jeff has no right to try to get on the Mets hype train right now. No, he's hopping on the bandwagon. We know everything that you've done, Jeff. Nice try. Um, okay, more donations. Okay, Orphanage, thank you so much for the two dollar donation. Okay, Seeger, Baez, Correa, Rodon, Soler. Next. I don't see Soler happening. Uh, I don't see Seager happening. <laughs> I don't see Gray happening. Um, I think two of those could potentially happen in Baez and Rodon. The other ones, though, I know that you're trolling a little bit. Thank you for the donation, though, my man. Congrats from a Nats fan. Enjoy him as much as we did. I uh, I don't know how. I'm sure Nats fans aren't feeling too positive about this right now. No less. We are going to gladly take him in. We're going to love the hell out of this man. And, yes, thank you. I, I think Mad Max dominating the Mets for as long as he did was full proof as to why the Mets are so adamant about getting him also. Yes, familiarity in City Field is a great year right in City Field. We're going to get into more of, more of his advanced numbers shortly, folks. But thank you so much for the donation, my man. Appreciate you. I know that uh, you've always been a big Scherzer fan being a Nats fan. $2 donation from Gambit Kane. Thank you so much for the $2 donor. Hype in the chat for Gambit Kane with a $2 donation. Hype in the chat to the over 1,000 viewers right now, everybody. Love you all so much. Thank you guys for the support. We will bring out Gigi in the stream. We will do that. I pr We will 100% do that. They've got to make the dance in the next few years. Absolutely. I mean, they have to. They literally have to. It's it's World Series or bust for the Mets starting next season. Let, there's no denying that at all. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. Um, time to bring out Gigi and celebrate. Like and subscribe to the best Mets content. Oh, thank you so much, Bill Roberts. Love and appreciate you, my man. That really does mean a lot. Trades coming soon. I could I could definitely see some trades coming. Um, more so with guys on the roster currently versus prospect capital, though, if trades were to happen. Um, thank you so much for the donation, Bill. Hi in the chat, everybody. 99 cent donation from Ryan. Let's go. I I still I I still cannot believe it. I truly cannot believe what has transpired here. Max Scherzer and Jacob. I honestly don't know if it's gonna fully hit me until I get off off stream. Uh, like, guys, I'm my mind is another plate. We streamed for eight hours last night. And now this man. Sweeney, Swain, Cohen's Pain, Dancing in the Streets, LGM. Absolutely, David. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. Hi, Mitch Shaffer, David, with the $10 dono. Time to name Gigi as the new manager. Obviously. <laughs> David, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Um, Jose, Jose Peraza signed with the Yankees. Look, the Yankees are making moves. <laughs> All jokes aside, hope Peraza does well with the Yanks. Um, oh, my goodness. We want Schwarber. I don't know if the Mets are going after Schwarber. Scherzer receives a full no trade clause with the Mets. Love that. Abs not surprising at all. Not surprising in the slightest, baby. Oh my God. This is just insane. This is literally, I don't, I don't know how to put in. I still don't know how to put in words, how to comprehend what has transpired here. And of course, folks, help us get to the next uh, subscriber goal of 12K. 
on Wordy NYM. So again, if you guys are enjoying content like this, breaking news live streams as they happen, make sure to smash that like and subscribe on. As always, folks, help us get to 500 likes in the stream for the first short-term goal. And again, thank you all so much for being here, guys. Do not begin to tell you how much I love and appreciate you all so, so much. I, we're, I, I, I have a lot that I need to say. Um, okay, let, I need to deep dive a lot. I just know that I have to answer some of these questions and the super chats and stuff. Um, so I, I, I addressed that array. Yes, I did. Time to name GG as manager. I love that. Um, $2 donation. C, told, told you last night. Um, let's go, Mets, bro. Absolutely. Again, appreciate the donation, my man. What happens to Pearson and McGill? I don't see I don't see either of them in the rotation to start the season for the Mets. I, I, I don't. Um, whether one gets dealt or if they just use them still potentially at a bullpen or in general keep them, um, that will be yet to be seen. But I don't see them in the rotation to start next year um, unless injuries happen, of course, which I hope don't knock on wood. Um, thank you again for the donation, though, my man. Hype in the chat to you. Yes, it is official. No. OK, guys. So if you don't know to this point, Max Scherzer has signed a three year, one hundred thirty million dollar deal. There's an opt out after the second year for Max. And there's also a full no trade clause on the contract. So again, I don't see how Max doesn't go the full three years. I think truly the only exception is if the Mets underperform, um, then he could find himself wanting to potentially leave while he's around the age of 40 and still trying to win. Um, that would be the only exception I could see him opting out. But like 43 mil a year, I don't see that happening. Check Joel Sherman. Okay, we'll check Sherman, folks. We will check Joel Sherman right now. What did Joel Sherman say, folks? I'm literally about to cry, guys. Uh, okay, just about the full no trade. Okay, I'm aware of that. Uh, insane. In effing insane. I'm just che I'm just checking all the updates right now, folks. That's all I'm doing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did I did kiss the Epler poster. Say to, to anyone who just asked that. I did. I did. Hey man, well, uh Crow tastes good. I thought for sure Boris was using us. Everyone thought that Boris was using us too, but we got it done, baby. Let's go. Thank you so much for the ten dollar donation, Hank. I really appreciate that. I'm in the chat for Hank. Oh my goodness. No crying in baseball worry. I don't give a damn. This ain't a movie. This is real life. We're gonna shed tears if we need to. All right. Um <laughs> Greatest number two pitcher and hit. I mean, this is this is the biggest one two punch. If 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 Jake and Scherzer just play their potential, it's over. It's truly over. We added 16 and a half F4 in one weekend. <laughs> it's insane. It's literally insane, bro. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right, I'll check, I'll check the latest updates on Twitter, folks. But again, on my plus 1,000 viewers, how are we feeling right now in the chat, folks? How do you feel about Mad Max being a New York Met? Please make sure to let me know all your thoughts. Right now in the live stream, if you're watching this live or on replay, make sure to let me know, folks. <coughs> checking, I'm checking tweets as we speak. I know we're, I know we're not done. I know we're not done, baby. Let's go. Do you do guys? Do you think that we get buys today? Do you think that we get buys? Do you think buys might happen today? Let me. I cannot wait for that Scherzer presser. Oh my god! I really cannot wait for that. Also, keep in mind that as we talked in last night's live stream, Scherzer does reside. He just bought a ten million dollar home right by Port St. Lucie in Florida, so that even makes further sense for him location wise as well. Five dollar donation here from Eddie. Eddie, thank you so much. Garrett Cole is officially the third best pitcher at NYC. Facts, 1,000%. That is true. Uh, Cohen rebounds to the top from Matt's. Absolutely. Imagine getting upset about losing out on Steven Matt's. All right, well, fine, fine, fine. We'll go get Max Scherzer instead. Fine, fine. You, <coughs> you left me no choice, right? Let's go get Scherzer instead. Is it official? Yes, it is, Brent. It is 1,000% official. Max Scherzer is a New York Met. Mark is Dravnik Mark, I'm pretty sure, is doing a Twitter spaces right now, talking about his raw thoughts. I'm sure he'll come out with a video later today. He's pumped. I know he's I know he's absolutely pumped right now, rightfully so. This just changes this just changes everything for the Mets. And I cannot emphasize that enough, folks. For a Mets team that want to prove a point this offseason, 
there is no denying that hiring Billy Epler, everything has gone as planned. Literally. It is insane to think about the fact that the Mets actually had things work out here. It's insane to think about the fact that if it wasn't for Trevor Bauer not signing with the Mets last offseason, this probably wouldn't have happened. It probably wouldn't have. Okay, some people are saying to check tweets. I'll do that right now. <coughs> Hype in the chat, folks. We feeling damn good right now. Wow. Okay, guys. So on, I got to put on S and Y. Um, on S and Y again. Shout out my boy Subway to Shay. Um, Anthony for tweeting this out for people that didn't know. But Martino said, just said on SNY that even Alex Cohen, yes, Alex Cohen, Steve's white, talked with Max, his wife, and family to sell them on the Mets vision. Steve and Alex working together, relationship goals. That's insane. The Mets literally got both Cohen and his wife in the negotiations to make this happen. That's insane. When does that happen? Literally, that like never, I've never heard or seen anything of that nature. That's just mind boggling absolutely mind-boggling shout out to alex shout out to steve shout out to billy shout out to everyone for making this happen wow absolutely wow dominic no worries my man appreciate the donations as always kane snow with the five dollar donation thank you so much kane so thor kicking himself right now and regretting what he said so much for noon uh, uh, no one wine come to the mats exactly it's just like the meme of kevin durant and the knicks of uh, you know um uh no one wants to come to the Mets. Everyone wants to come to the Mets. Again, to Ken Snow, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I really appreciate that. Hype in the chat for Ken Snow. Juan Papo with the $5 donation. Wait, you know what's even better? We stole Max from the Dodgers. Pivot Bias and Radon, the relief pitching. We're signed Bias today. That would be immaculate. If we do sign Bias today, that would literally be jaw-dropping. Absolutely jaw-dropping. Um, let's see. SNY just tweeted this out. The Mets landing Max Scherzer obliterates any lingering notions that players don't want to play for the Mets. Couldn't upset to, to get Max of all people though to like he's he's I would imagine he'd be easily one of the most stubborn people to land. So for the for the Mets to be able to do what they did here is nothing short of remarkable. Hats off to everyone. I'm blessed to be a Mets fan. I'm blessed to be in this position, covering it with you guys as it happens live. They just truly jaw dropping stuff that has transpired here, knowing that we have a rotation for at least a couple of years that very well can have the best one two punch in baseball. Just insane. Absolutely insane. Shout out to Alex Cohen again. We love her. Jay Borden, let's effing go. Thank you so much for the 3148 donation. Hype in the chat for Jay with the big donation. Appreciate and love all you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the donations throughout the live stream, folks. You guys are absolute beauties. Hold on, folks. Let Guys, I, guys, I think we're going to have to bring someone in, in the stream soon. My boy Richie to share his in, in, initial reaction to Scherzer. So stay tuned for that if it does happen. But yeah, just absolutely nuts what is transpiring right now. Jay, thank you so much for the donation, my man. Another donation from Dylan. Dylan, thank you so much. Another New York sports news. Kemba out of the rotation. Burks will be the starting point guard. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got to talk to my boy Richie about that because he covers the Knicks at Knicks Media. I know I know, Burks has been playing well. That's interesting, though. I'll have to get into that more. Dylan, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Really appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. Guys, hold on. I'm going to put on S&Y real quick because I don't have it pulled up right now. I'm in the chat, though. Max Scherz is in New York, Matt, baby. Let's, like, look at the, the numbers. Look at the graphic. The numbers speak for themselves, folks. The numbers speak for themselves. Chef's kiss. Let's go. Kemba, apparently he's been according to uh according to the donation, Kemba is uh is not in the starting lineup. It'll be Burks for right now. Just interesting. I need I need to learn more on that one. Um oh my god, I don't even get S and Y right now. I'm gonna lose it. All right, I gotta put on MLB network instead. Gotta put on MLB network instead. If you aren't excited, you ain't a fan. Absolutely. 
Guys, would you agree that this signing, this historic of a signing by the Mets, basically eliminates all the issues that we have had to this point with if the Mets are in fact, you know, that the Mets can't land anyone first of all, that the Mets are this, that they're that. This helps single-handedly kill a narrative. All of this does. And there's no denying it. This 1,000% kills a narrative. And this is going to continue. This is the Steve Cohen Mets. This is the Billy Epler Mets. This is the new wave of ownership. And all I know is that Billy Epler is really helping himself to stay with the Mets more than a year. Again, they got to be on the field. We know that they got a lot of moves that they got. They, they got more moves that they need to make. And they obviously need to win. But this is huge. Mets are using their money the right way. They're focused on the now. They're going all in. And they're not giving up all their prospect capital in doing so. It's the best of both worlds. Brody Van Wagenen shaking in his boots. He never thought that he could do something about actually dressing a team without giving up all your top prospects, right? What a, what a world are we living in now? You think we gain buys? I do think there's a very good likelihood we get buys. And you have to think that Javi wants to come back, especially after landing Mad Max. He knows that this team is only improving. He knows that damn well. So... Unless he wants to be a, a full-time shortstop, which he didn't really, he never really emphasized that being the case. He said he was perfectly fine at second base. I don't see how Javi doesn't come back. I think the Mets have a very good chance of getting in. Eddie with the $5 donation. Thank you so much, A. Max might be able to help to Grom manage age and injury better. So Scherzer's been a workhorse and has managed injuries well. Yes, he absolutely has. And again, I know that Scherzer was dealing with a little bit of a dead arm down the stretch this year. But he's someone that, as long as the Mets monitor, I, I, I have very little concerns with what he's going to bring to the Mets, man. I'm I'm only I'm only viewing this with literally like tears of joy. That's how I, that's how happy I am about them landing Mad Max. Just again, absolutely nuts that they were able to get this through, guys. Keith Hernandez for manager. I don't think Keith's coming in as manager. <laughs> I, I do need to get myself a Max Scherzer jersey. That's the first thing that I needs to do. Rob with the $5 donation. Thank you so much for that, Rob. I'm literally uh, digging a ditch in Staten Island for work, a scenario I'm usually miserable in, and I couldn't be happier. Wow. See, this turned everyone's day up, they upside down, but in a good way. Everyone's so happy right now, and rightfully so. I'm happy for you. Hope you have a great work day, Rob. And shout out everybody that's watching this, because I know a lot of you guys are working. Thank you again for the donation, Rob. You know, a lot of people are working right now. I know a lot of people are missing out on this. I know that they're going to be watching this replay. Like, damn, I wish I saw this one is happening live. I wish I knew about the news when it was happening live, but still, absolute beauties, everybody in the chat right now. I'm, man, they got Mad Max. So what is next, right? We're, we'll be talking about that too. Um, we might be doing that in a live stream later today, possibly, um, but no less, just absolutely huge news that they landed Max Scherzer the way that they did, folks. Absolutely massive. Hold on, folks. We're going to get someone in the stream here shortly. Hold on, folks. Give me one second. We're bringing someone in the stream, everybody. <laughs> Howie Rose just tweeted that out, and, he's so, and it's 100% true. He said that, you know, Mets managerial search just got a little bit, like, a little sweeter, huh? He's 100% right. Absolutely. Is they, are they saying anything significant on um, S&Y? Let me know, guys, because I, I don't know if they are right now. Hold on, everybody. Again, if I miss a donation, I apologize. I apologize to everyone if I'm slightly delayed here. I'm just getting everything set up at the moment. That's all. 
Baez would be um, almost as much of a big signing because he'll start a new season with the Mets. All the players are going to be pumped to play for the Mets. Yeah, I mean, look, Scherzer's the tippy top of that list in regards to significance right now. But yes, 100%, that would be absolutely huge too if we get Baez. I, I really hope it happens. I think that there's a very good likelihood it does. I really do stand by that. I think that there's, there's, there's a decent chance that happens for sure. Strong chance, I should say. Thank you again for the donation. Charles, Wardy, I'm so hyped right now. I'm game for Lander, Cole 2019 vibes. That's a, oh, I could see why you feel that way for sure. Again, two of the, two of the MLB's best. No denying that at all. Thank you again for the $5 donation. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that, folks. Okay. Um, where are people saying check Doug Rush? All right, let's check Doug Rush, shall we? Let's check Doug Rush. Oh, that's oh, guys, Doug Rush, who's been covering the Mets, uh, you know, was a big part of this entire Scherzer search. He gave me a nice shout out, which was very, he said the following Hey, Tyler, uh, Wardy, Wardy NYM kept getting links to your YouTube show last night. Really like your content and show from when I kept popping in and out. Appreciate the shout outs from it, too. Hope you continue to have success with the show. Oh, that's very kind. Okay. All right, folks. Hold on one second. Hold hold on. I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get to the donations, everything. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hold on, folks. Hold on, everybody. My pop again. My apologies on the delay. I'm just getting everything set up right now. Okay, uh, let's go to the donations quick, folks. Again, thank you all so much for being. Love you guys all so much. Shout out to Doug Rush again for the uh, for the kind words and everything. Really, really appreciate that. Absolute beauty. Again, we didn't. No one knew about Doug Rush until yesterday. If you guys were following along with the Mets coverage, no one. I like that was first to me, and I was just concerned because uh, you know we didn't know the guy, but he proved after each and every tweet that he was on it. So I really appreciate that. Shout out to Doug Rush for the kind uh, for the kind shout out. Um, does great work. Make sure to check him out on Twitter. Um, hold on, folks. James, thank you so much for the $5 donation. You're the man, Warrior Elf GM. Proud to say I've been here since day one. Keep up the great work. Excited to meet you at a game sometime. Absolutely. I'm excited to meet you, too. I'm excited to meet many of you guys like I have this past season that I will in the upcoming season in 2022. So, again, thank you so much for the donation, James. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, listen to this, guys. A bunch, a bunch of reports just came out. And I know that we got more donations. I'm going to get to them. I think we got – did I miss any donations? I'm just double-checking right now. Make sure I don't want to miss any one. Payroll is like 270 now, right? Yep, it's right around 265. Thank you for the donation, Jason. Appreciate you, my man. Okay. Reports just came out. Source familiar with Max Scherzer negotiations said Angels were closer than Dodgers in acquiring the right hand pitcher, but that neither team was very close to matching three years, 130 million. Uh, again, I don't see how any team matches what the Mets can do financially right now, honestly. But interesting to see how the Angels are actually closer than the Dodgers. Not really that surprising, but still interesting, no less.
Okay, sure. Okay, this just came out from Jeff Pass, and also I'll get to the Nito tweet. Um, Jeff Passon says, there were a lot of questions whether Max Scherzer, an influential member of the MLBPA on its executive subcommittee, would sign before the potential lockout. That he did speaks um, that he did speaks to the magnitude of his Mets deal, which Martino was all over at 43.3 million a year is just stunning. Absolutely. Again, this changes everything for the Mets. I cannot stress that enough on how this changes their entire approach, not just for the remainder of the offseason, but their approach going to next year. They're in a win now stage. They're 100% going in to win the division. Oh my God, just knowing that Max is going to be matched up against the Nationals so much is insane to think about. Not going to lie. That's actually crazy. That's literally nuts. Let's check the Tomas Nito tweet though. Oh, okay. He said, okay, now your turn, Baez. I love that. <laughs> Tomas Nito, if you guys don't know, obviously the uh, the catcher for the Mets tweet out like with, a, with a, a little emoji. Okay, now your turn, like for Baez to come to the Mets. I really, if guys, if we get Baez today too, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do if Baez happens today too, folks? Let me know. Let me know in the stream. What do I do if Baez transpires today? Uh, this, stream, this stream will probably go on, I would assume, at least another hour. Um, but... What do we do if bias happens today too, folks? Because we'll probably go up another hour, share more on our initial reactions to Scherzer. Then I'll probably go again live this evening, assuming that nothing happens prior to that. Um, no, not 24-hour stream. I would. I would if I didn't stream as long as I did last night. But it's okay. Don't worry. We'll be back. Um, plenty more talking to do. And again, a lot a lot more that I want to share in Scherzer and we're getting some guests coming in too. Hot sauce shots? Why do you want to pain me? <laughs> Get a daddy Steve tat. That's fine. Get a tequila shot. Makes sense. Have a nice drink. Get some get some Xanax. You guys are cracking me up. All right, folks. Hold on. We're, we got a special guest coming in for, for just a couple minutes, folks. Give me one second. You Let's, go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. How you feeling? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I I can't. I I I'm still I'm still trying to figure out the fact that this just happened or not. Like, did you have any idea that you, did you have any belief that this was going to happen heading into the offseason? Dude, this shit felt so fake. It didn't feel real. Like, especially, I mean, all the rumors last night, I was feeling good. I mean, I'm sure some people know how I was feeling on Twitter and everything like that, but they'd always, in the back of the, my mind, felt like it could be Bauer 2.0. And yeah, the more and more the night went on and the less and less we heard, I was saying all last night, I can't go to sleep knowing that this is not done. Don't matter. Uncle Stevie, he just came right out and said, don't care. $43 million, highest AAV ever. He's 36. Don't care. Get your money. Mets, let's go. Let's go. Dude, dude, it literally, this changes literally everything. I, I'm still I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. You know, just the fact that they were able to do this now. Now look at just I, DeGrom and Scherzer, somebody doing MLB the show, not in real life. Now we have that rotation we're going to be dealing with, man. No, um, like I just, this does, it still feels like a fever dream. And we have probably buys potentially later today too, or very soon before the lockout. So much is going on, man. So again, I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for all those Mets fans. We deserve this, especially the OG Mets fans. I've been following along through hell and back, you yeah. know, no one deserves this more than us. I feel like, so I, I'm just, I'm absolutely pumped, man. And a great job with the Twitter spaces last night. That was sick. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Good job with the stream as well. I mean, killing it, holding it down over here on YouTube for the Mets fans as well. We got it all covered, all the bases. We got them covered. We do got them covered. But again, guys, everyone, shout out to Mark in the chat for chiming in for a minute. Make sure to subscribe to the man. He's going to be coming out with a video shortly on Max Scherzer Lane with the Mets so we can get more of his raw initial reaction. But Mark, thank you so much for chiming in, my man. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Dude, let's fucking go Mets, baby. Let's go Mets. Peace out, bro. <laughs> Peace. All right, everyone, hype in the chat to Mark as well for chiming in. We all love Giraffe Neck here. Um, Gotti R Rivera with the $5 donation. Thank you so much for that, my man. Really, really appreciate that. Um, Rose, Rose Waxman with the $5 donation. Thank you so much. Congrats on 11K. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Dominic. Again, thank you all so much for the subscriptions and the likes, folks. Like I said, help us get a 500 likes for the first short-term goal here in the stream and help us get a 12K subs for the next short-term goal here on Worry NYM as well. We got two big giveaways coming this week, so stay tuned. There will be a short video out on that when it transpires, so make sure that you're up to date on everything. Again, though, Dominic, thank you so much for the kind words. Everybody, thank you so much for the kind words. Just, just insane knowing that we're in a spot right now where we have just, just... I, 
again, it's going to take me a while to really figure out the fact that we're in a position that we have Max Scherzer and Jacob DeGrom in the same damn rotation. Just absolutely insane. I just, I, the Mets, the Mets stopped, the Mets ended the LOL Mets narrative. They really did. They really did. Um, Demel Cruz, thank you so much for the $5. Do Cruz, you've been a big supporter on the channel for a while, my man. I recognize you. Thank you so much again for the donation. Yes, and shout out again to Giraffe Neck Mark. I don't need to tell you guys who, you you all know who Mark is. Make sure to subscribe to the man. He's going to be coming out with a great video on the Scherzer signing uh, a little bit later today. Make sure to check him out on Twitter too. Great follow. Just doing great stuff for all around baseball coverage. And of course, his Mets Up podcast with James Shiano. They're doing great things. I'm sure they're absolutely pumped to get a new episode out. But I'm just absolutely pumped knowing that the Mets have, in fact, got Max Scherzer. We'll be getting another guest in here shortly, guys, to share more of our thoughts. But, folks, like Max Scherzer, 2021 numbers, right? A 5.4 war. Again, 2.97 FIP, 2.46 year array. Just under 180 innings, pit, 80, uh, innings pitched. A times year rate of 2.9. Times year rate in 2019, 2.8, which was lower than his 2.9 year rate. It just His numbers are literally ridiculous. They've always been ridiculous. He's always been a strikeout cane. You know, if we, if we go through the numbers further on Scherzer here, again, 2021, uh, 236 strikeouts. 2019, because we're not counting the short season. 2019. 243 strikeouts. That's, I believe, when the Nationals won their World Series. 2018, 300 strikeouts. 2017, 268 strikeouts. 2016, 284. The year before that, 276, 252, 240, 231. This man has been so consistent. It's just, it's jaw-dropping. It truly is remarkable how insane he's been throughout his entire career. And look, he's dominated the Mets his entire career. Let's not forget that. $5 donation here from Alex Cohen. Alex, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Thanks for the content, man. Working your butt off for us fans. I'm so happy uh, to see your subscribers go up and up. Oh, thank you so much, Alex. That means a lot. Funny enough that you have the same name as Steve Cohen's wife, given the fact that she was a heavy driving force, a factor in helping land Scherzer in the ne negotiations. So kind of a fun tidbit there. But thank you so much, Alex, for the donation. I have in the chat for Alex for the dono as well. Maybe SMY should keep an eye on Wardy. Maybe, maybe. Um, Jason. I uh, keep wondering 200,000. No, it's not 200,000 in uh, USD. It's in COP. And I don't know what currency that is. I don't know that equates to. Obviously, it doesn't equate to $200,000. Uh, but it's still a great donation to us. And I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, Jason, for the $2 donation, guys. Really appreciate that, guys. Wow, we passed 500 likes in the stream. You guys are beauties. Thank you so much for the 500 likes. Really, really appreciate that, folks. Really, really appreciate that. All right, folks, everybody, let me know in the chat right now. What do you think is next for the Mets? It's $50, Juan Papo? If it, that's all, wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the donation from everyone. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Guys, let me know. Do you think Javi Baez is the next person to have a deal done with the Mets? Or do you think it's going to be a different player or a different direction the Mets go down? Let me know. I'll be back in one second. Just got to use the restroom quick, but stay beautiful, stay classy. Be back in one second, folks.
We back, folks. Sorry, I want to see in the chat. Who do we think? A lot of people think Baez is next for the Mets. Okay. Um, Baez and Stro. I don't I don't I don't feel nearly as optimistic about Stro. I gotta be honest with you. Sign that lefty hand. He is due for a good year. Eh, I don't know. I, I'm not that optimistic about Brad Hand out of the bullpen, but I know that they are looking for a reliever or multiple relievers. And again, shout out for the 50 donation earlier. Again, I really appreciate that. Baez Rodon. I would I would look if the Mets if the Mets can land Baez, if the Mets can get a Rodon or you know someone else solid for the rotation. I mean, Rodon is one of those guys where he's such a big wild card because we don't know what his health status is, but he's also Scott Boris client. So that could benefit the Mets here, knowing that they were able to land the biggest fish pitching wise and for agency from Scott Boris. There could be a further connection there. But I do, I do have I do have this kind of gut feeling that Baez will be the next domino to fall, if you will. But again, we'll see. We'll see. A lot's happening. Jason Art, thank you so much for the 178 donation. Appreciate that, my man. Having the chat, everybody that's been here, that has been watching live, sharing our initial reactions. Again, folks, help us get into 12K subs always for the next short term goal here on Rorty NYM. Again, thank you all so much for the support. I've just, man, oh man, you guys know the drill. You guys know the drill with these numbers. I don't, there really isn't, I don't, it's not like I have to do a selling job or anything like that in regards to landing Mad Max. It's, this is historic, not just between this being the highest AAV uh, for a pitcher in all baseball, but just knowing that the Mets are getting someone that has been there, done that. He's done it all in the playoff stage. He's won it all, won a World Series. How many Cy Youngs does Max have? He has three Cy Youngs. He's been a Cy Young finalist. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Max has been a Cy Young winner three times and a Cy Young finalist, you know, outside of first place five times, eight time all-star just look, I don't, I don't expect Mad Max to, uh, you know, be getting 300 strikeouts next year or anything like that. But I do expect Max to continue dealing, going to get, going to get you right around between a two and a half to three year array. That's going to be more than enough for how dominant that guy's going to be on the mound every single, every fifth day. And knowing that he's going to help bring security to Jacob DeGrom is absolutely ginormous. For a guy like Jake, who's normally in a land of his own, pitching-wise in the rotation, and knowing the type of acquisitions that the Mets are making offensively that they aren't done yet, man, oh man, they, they're just they're putting themselves in such a great spot to succeed, man. I, I'm trying not to get ahead of myself, but I'm, I'm, so, I'm beyond excited. I truly am. Um, let me address a donation or two here quick, and then we got someone coming in the stream. Steven Matz deserves MVP chance in the Queens. <laughs> he has, he, his, his agent deserves MVP chance. That's the way he deserves. Jason R., Alex Cohen for President Baseball Operations. <laughs> Literally, the fact that she had such a pivotal say in these negotiations is absolutely huge. I agree with you on that one. Thank you for that, Jason. Um, true story. Best part, we didn't give up prospects last year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, appreciate that donation. Um, let's go down the list further here. Meet the Mets. Absolutely. All right, folks, let's bring in a great friend, a great part of the channel as well to talk some more on Max Scherzer, folks. You guys know him well. Haven't seen him in a while, but it's about time that changes. Richie, my man, what's up, bro? Hey, what good, yo? We got Max Scherzer coming to Queens. Wow, I'm excited. Thank you for letting me join the stream, Morty. You've been doing incredible things. The channel's exploding. Everybody in the chat's hype. Mets Twitter's going wild. I'm so That's excited to be well. here to share my excitement, man. Yeah, dude. I'm. Uh, what was what was your initial reaction? Because I know you Facetime. I didn't get a chance to pick it up right away. I should have. I was just worried about this. I don't blame dude. you, dude. <laughs> what what what's Listen, your man. what's your initial reaction to this? And guys, if you yeah, don't know, bro. again, Richie at Mets Media. Please make sure to subscribe to the man. Just came out with a video of his initial reaction as well on Scherzer. He also has Nick's content, Nick's Media, Jets Media for great uh, football and basketball content. So make sure to check it out as well, folks. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But yeah, I was just like any other Mets fan last night. I was tuning into Mark's Twitter spaces. I was tuning into your uh, YouTube live stream. I was on Twitter refreshing it over and over and over again, seeing the same tweet repeated that the Mets are close. The Mets are close. This, this, just rewording it. And I'm like, this is going to go crazy. And all night I couldn't sleep. And I wake up this morning, wait to see the news. It's not there yet. I texted you. We were talking. I'm just waiting for it to be finalized. Is this a Trevor Bauer situation all over again? That's what's going through my head. But no, Steve Cohn gets the job done. Max Scherzer decides to come to Queens. And man, the first thing that came to my mind is just having Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer at the top of this rotation. That's absolutely historical. And Mets fans, Steve Cohen 
literally just proved that he is legit. I know some people, for whatever reason, were starting to question him, that whole Steven Matt situation. Uh, is he going to open up the bank? Is he going to spend money? Well, this is such a big moment in Mets history for Steve Cohen as an owner because not only did he go out there and get Lindor last year, you know, that was his first big splash, but this proves that we're officially a big market team. How long have we waited? to say that because we're in New York, exactly. we're in a market and we had to look at the New York Yankees throughout, throughout my entire child, uh, my entire life, watching them be in on every free agent, spend all the money. And we're out here spending money on Rick Porcello and Jason Vargas all these years going for the tier C, the tier D guys in free agency. And now we finally have an owner who's willing to spend the money to bring in the big fish. And Max Scherzer is now officially a Met. And I'll finish it off with this. I think Mets fans can agree with this. We watch Max Scherzer obliterate us. And I honestly never liked Max Scherzer, not because he was a bad player, not because he I didn't like the way he played. Simply you love to hate him. How could you root for the guy, right? Exactly. He just destroyed the Mets every time he faced up against him, so I just grew a hatred for him. Where the, When I saw that Max Scherzer was going up against us, I had zero confidence in the Mets. So I'm like, oh, here we go. Scherzer's going to dominate us. And now he's on our side? Wow, that is just amazing, man. Absolutely phenomenal. Dude, I'm I'm not even joking. You guys see this? I'm literally getting you know like teary eyed, and I'm I'm not I'm saying that because I haven't I had Mark on here for a second, but haven't had the chance to really just like interact with someone more fully on just really grasping because I'm out here spewing my thoughts left and right and not really able to really think for my own second that this actually transpired. Like, dude, I don't know. How, I don't even know how you don't get emotional about this because as Mets fans, you know, you and I are younger Mets fans. If you guys don't know, you know, Richie and I are around the same age in our early twenties and. You know, we thankfully haven't been through the long-term suffering like a lot of Mets fans have, right? So when I think about the Mets doing these moves, especially, I'm not even thinking so much about me. I'm really not. I'm thinking about everyone else. Like, this is huge. You know the amount of diehards I got on the live stream right now or are watching this on replay that, you know, have are literally up up there in age now and just have seen little success and they had to deal with incompetence for so long with the Wolfons. And, you know, people, this is their livelihood being a fan. This is my livelihood. I can tell you that first and foremost. You guys probably know that by now. But the fact that the Mets are laying Max Scherzer, the guy that's been dealing it out as the best pitcher in baseball for the past decade, along with Jacob DeGrom, those are the two men you think of automatically right away. No, not Garrett Cole and that sticky substance schmuck. You don't think about Garrett Cole. You think about you think about Scherzer. You think about Jake. Now they're in the same rotation. This isn't MLB the show. This is a reality right now, man. And we know how we know how dominant Jake is as long as he's healthy. We know how dominant Scherzer is as long as he's healthy. This guy's the limit. It's the fact that this team isn't even done. They're not even done. They very well might get bias. They, they're still looking for another starter. They're going to be pushing right around, if not higher, a $300 million payroll. They're going to have the highest payroll in baseball. Yes, it's a lot of money, but Steve is willing to do it. He has proven. And again, shout out Alex Cohen. I don't know if you saw that. Alex Cohen, Steve's wife, actually had a say in these negotiations. He spoke one-on-one -on -one with Scherzer and his wife and really helped trying to give them the idea of the vision that the Mets have going forward in this win-now stage. So she was a driving for it. I just, the, I never would have thought that the Mets would be in a position that they are now. You know, I've been optimistic this entire time, but I would have told you, you know, I, I have a bridge to sell you heading into the offseason. The Mets were going to land Max Scherzer. I, how many times? If you guys have been watching live, you know damn well I've been standing on that. I've been dying on that hill basically saying that there's no way. Like, I would love if the Mets got Max, but let's let's be realistic here. It's not going to happen, you know? It, but this just this literally just changes everything. Um, Dave, thank you so much for the two dollar donation. Hi, in the chat for Dave, a great friend, a great what subscriber up, on the channel. Beyond generous, love you, Dave. Thank you so much for that. Again, folks, I just, I don't, I, ugh, I man, I'm, I literally feel like sick, but in a good way because of what the past twenty four hours I've been, and I, I kind of, I want to ask you now, you know, from your point of view, now that the Mets are in the position that they are, what is do you do you stand by the notion that everything is died out now? Like the LOL Mets, those narratives, especially when it comes to offseason, I don't see that how they aren't just completely diminished now after you do the type of things that the Mets have done. Well, yeah, I think that it, everything's flipping, and especially if you want to talk about the New York market, just in, in comparing the Mets and Yankees. And we're just talking about offseason right now. We're not talking about the actual results on the field because we're we're this offseason, I said it earlier, is proof that Steve Cohen is legit an owner that's willing to go over the luxury tax 
not only over the luxury tax, we're about to have the highest payroll in all of baseball. And Mets fans are waiting for that. You know, last year we were below the luxury tax. You know, he went out there. He gave Francisco Lindor that giant contract, which was like, what, the third or fourth most richest contract of all time. And now we gave the richest contract of all time in terms of AAV. So Cohen, I think he's squandering that narrative. You know, so many people, for whatever reason, last week was like, nobody wants to come here. Syndergaard goes to L.A. Loop follows him to the Angels. Exactly. And then even Matt's that whole nonsense. Cohen calls him out. And then Mets fans are in their feelings. Wow, nobody wants to come here. We don't have a, a manager yet. We just hired a GM. What is Billy Epler doing? What well, we're a dysfunctional mess all over again. Like, what is who is Steve Cohen? Is he gonna do anything for this team? And then all of a sudden, Black Friday happens. We get three players in a span of like six hours. And then you hear all the reports that now we got those three position players. They're pivoting to starting pitcher. And then for the next two days, you know that Cohen is on the phone with um, you know, Scherzer's camp. And they finally got the job done. So to answer your question, I think they squandered that, man. The LOL Mets uh, is definitely not a thing anymore. But the only way that's actually going to be squandered is if they actually bring this to the field and get results. Because I think that's the most important right now. You know, Mets fans, um, we have every single right to be overjoyous right now of what the offseason has brought us so far. But it's all about the product on the field. And I have all the utmost confidence that the Mets are going to get the job done this year and go to the playoffs and make some noise. Because if you get, if you can just get into the postseason with the healthy DeGrom and Scherzer, nobody wants to face us. And I can say that with confidence that not one player or one team in the league has looks at the Mets and say, yeah, I want to face them. I think we can go up against them, especially with the healthy DeGrom and Scherzer. It's just ridiculous. And you saw what Scherzer's done throughout his career in the playoffs in particular. He is the fierce competitor. He's somebody that, yes, he's 37 years old. He's also coming off a career season. I think he had the lowest ERA of his career last year with the Nationals and Dodgers combined. And in the postseason, he's a player that comes out of the bullpen when you need him. He's somebody that's willing to pitch on short rest because he has that mindset, that fierce competitive mindset that's going to go a long way in the Mets clubhouse. And people are going to be looking up to him and DeGrom like, wow. And the, and the best part about the DeGrom and DeGrom, uh, the DeGrom and Scherzer dynamic is they're so polar opposites in terms of personality wise, in terms of their mindset. On exactly. The that's a great point. They're like the same, but they're not the same. Like they both have killer mindsets, but DeGrom's like a stealth killer while Mad Max is just like talking crap into his glove. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's going to be a beautiful dynamic to have those two. And then not even to mention, you know, Taiwan Walker, it's going to be interesting to see what he can do after having an all-star season in the first half. And then obviously not having a good uh, end to the season and the cookie Carrasco. I'm curious to see what else other Mets are going to be making moves. Do you think that we're the, the starting rotation set right now, Wardy, or do you think they're going to bring in more depth pieces? Like, what do you think on that front? Okay, uh, before I go there, I just want to address a couple things. One, in regards to how poor opposite Jake and Scherzer is, oh, yeah, that's going to be the biggest thing. Because literally the only, and I said this in last night's live stream, I said it, I think, in my video on Scherzer yesterday too. Scherzer, the only reason why he is the pitcher that he is right now, not because of his endless hard work, but it's also the fact that he his mentality is some, he is an anomaly of a pitcher. The guy, you can't even slap the guy's ass when he goes in the dugout when he's starting or he's going to call you out. He did that literally to the Dodgers manager uh, and Roberts when he first came to L.A. You got to know, you can't even touch the guy when he starts. He's that locked in. Every fifth day, he's an animal. He eats the he eats the same exact meals. He's that kind of guy, too. On game day, he does all those things. So Scherzer is literally a piranha versus someone like Jake, who's like a snake. J not in the sense yeah. of being, you know, that that type of term. A snake in the sense of oh, yeah. just stealthy, you know, he's going to slither up, he's going to get you, and he's going to get you before you even know it. But then you have someone like Scherzer who's just going all in with his, he's grinding. He'll freaking get, he had a, he broke his nose, and he did the start the next day after dumping bunny it in practice and breaking his nose somehow. Like, he's just an animal. But I wanted to address a donation in the chat here before I uh, talk about what's next for the rotation. Because I'll be getting into more of that in tonight's live stream, too. I don't know what your schedule is, Richie, but maybe we can talk more in that uh, in depth when it happens. But, Jaden, thank you so much for the $2 donation. But we have inconsistent hitters. Um, I don't. I think buys will come. I don't see Correa happening, but buys, I do think, is a, is a strong likelihood. Jaden, thank you again for the donation, my man. Hype in the chat, everybody, with the donations, the likes, the subscriptions. Again, make sure to su subscribe to my boy, Richie, at Mets Media. Check out his video on Scherzer. Make sure to check out Knicks and Jets Media, too. I want to talk about the Knicks in a minute, too, about Kemba. Because uh, someone yeah, donated right. talking about that for me. Um, oh, actually? But, yeah, make sure to check out my boy Richie on all the channels. But to answer about the rotation now, no, it's not set. I don't – it's not. It was – it's literally been reported already. I think it was through Michael Mayer. 
um, that uh, he's been doing really gr- a great job covering the Mets through uh, Mets Rise. Has his own podcast too. Get Mets Get Mets Rise does a really good job. But he said that the Mets are still looking for another starter. They would like to add a reliever or multiple. And obviously, they're not opposed to gain a position player, at least one or multiple, like a bias. So they're not done yet. I don't think this rotation is done yet. Can they go into next season with this rotation and be and be successful? Yes. But in my opinion, they still need to add one more starter, one more solidified guy that can really round things out. Because you don't know, you still don't know what you're getting with Taiwan. You don't know what you're going to get with Carlos Carrasco, who had himself surgery again this offseason. And you don't know exactly how effective guys like Tyler McGill, who exceeded expectations and then fell off a little bit again. But the guy started the year in double A in 2021. I not opposed that he actually made an impact for the Mets the way he did. David Pearson coming off of a significant foot surgery, um, injury, I should say. So there's a lot of there's a lot of question marks with the rotation still, even after Scherzer. I expect them to go out at least on one starter. There's two guys actually come to my mind, and they're both Scott Boris clients, which goes in hand. One is Carlos Rodon, who's from the White Sox, who had literally a Cy Young caliber year if he stayed healthy, dealt with some injuries. Um, and then you also have Yusei Kikuchi, who's a southpaw who would come in as a depth option, was an all-star for the Manners this year, then just had a very poor second half of the year. And I'm not sure if that went in hand with the sticky substance situation or whatever it was. Or to Taiwan Walker? Uh, yeah, he really did have a Taiwan Walker. Yeah, two guys that were all-stars <laughs> that just ha- plummeted in the second half of the year uh, for pro- various uh, different reasons. But those are two guys I, I, I definitely think the Mets are connected to. Um, I would love Rodon because he's a guy that there's uncertainties on his health, but if he's healthy, you literally have the best one, two, three in baseball. Like, you already have the best one, too. I think most people can agree. Um, but if you get Rodon, the guy had, you know, uh, I think it was a 2-4 year. He had an ERA awfully similar to Max Scherzer in 2021. So if he can stay healthy, get him on um, a multi-year deal, um, similar to Max maybe, just with high AV, not to Scherzer level. But if you can do that, knowing that um, we can make deals now with Scott Boris, as much of a schmuck that guy is, I think that you know the world is our oyster now for going after these big-name targets and really dressing the rotation. Yeah, man, the Scott Boris deal, uh, guys, he's got a lot of deals with the Mets. I can't believe this whole situation right now. I feel like the Mets are definitely not done. I'm pivoting to Baez, me personally. I know some Mets fans want him back. Um, it's just you got to do it, man. I feel like Baez understands what the what it's like to play in New York. He had to deal with the Mets fans. He had to deal with the New York <laughs> media. He understands what it takes. And, you know, the, the awesome thing about New York is, yes, sometimes when you lose, you're going to hear from the fans. But when you win, it's just a different animal. And now that we got Mad Max in the building – and we also, I mean, Starling Marte is now becoming like, cool, we got Marte. And that's a big damn deal that we got Starling Marte on this team. And it feels like Mets fans are like, yeah, we got Marte. But who cares? Because we have Max damn Scherzer on this damn team joining Jacob DeGrom. And the best part about giving a pitcher or even a player the highest contract of all time is he's not even going to be the number one starter. Like, that's just, that mold, that blows my mind. That just shows you the true depth that this team has and the true star power that we really have because the bats, I feel like they're going to come alive. I feel like Pete Alonso is going to have a very good season this year. I feel like we're about to see Pete Alonso's most consistent season coming up. And I just feel like everything's going to come together for this Mets team. And to add a guy like Max Scherzer proves that we're a team that's not only winning now, but we have a long-term mindset because we're not given, you know, 10-year contracts you know we gave Lindor that contract it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with Baez if they don't if they do bring him back but if I'm the Mets bring in Baez do you want Baez back Wardy like where are you on the Baez train where oh yeah I, I think I think you know damn well I want Baez back yeah I, I mean mo- a lot of Mets fans What's your level of back? optimism that it's gonna happen I, I think there's a lot of optimism that will happen and I think more than anything it really comes down to Baez wanting to play shortstop or if he's willing to play second you know, he he literally said, let's not forget, he was on a Spanish radio show prior to being traded at the MLB trade deadline. He said, you know, if I'm going to go anywhere in free agency, I want to go with Lindor, I want to go with the Mets, and I'd be willing to play second base like I did with him for Team Puerto Rico. And that's my only exception to playing second base is if Lindor is that short. And he did damn well. You know, Javi Baez is one of the best, like Lindor, one of the best defenders in the game in that infield. The Mets have the middle infield on lock. Starling Marte at center. I don't. No one's game. Nothing's getting past the Mets at center if they if they keep Javi Baez. Literally nothing. So I really do believe that there's strong optimism on that front. I know that other teams are looking at Baez a lot. They would like him as their starting shortstop. So that's something where I think it's going to be up more to Baez at the end of the day than the Mets because the Mets are clearly proving that if they want a guy, they're going all in. You know they. 
for Steve Cohen to be as upset as he was about Steven Matz because of him not really being able to give him the last shot that they switched on him last minute. And that should show you how adamant this team is with every single move that they're making, whether it's small or big. And that's going to continue throughout the remainder of the offseason. And I wanted to give a shout out uh, to Andrew with the $5 super sticker. Thank you so much, Andrew. Appreciate you, my man. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's been donating and liking, subscribing, all that stuff. Help us get a 12K subs for the next short-term goal. Two giveaways coming this week, like I said, folks, for 10K, 11K. If we hit 12K uh, over the next 24 hours, then obviously we'll do third giveaway of the week. But I don't know if we'll get there. But I want to say, talking about Michael Mayer, you know how I told you about Carlos Rodon and UC Kikuchi? Yeah. He tweeted out three minutes ago, a couple starting pitchers the Mets have checked in on, Carlos Rodon and UC Kikuchi. So there Look you go. <laughs> literally there you literally answered yourself. it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm sure we'll be talking about more of that in a live stream, Um, you know, later this evening assuming that no news happens before that uh but yeah the Mets they have their options still uh, they obviously want a lefty um Martino said Javi may sign post lockout now Ooh, let's check on that okay because there is still uncertainty as to exactly if a lockout is going to happen or not um I know that there's been uh, an article that came out recently from Jeff Hassan to indicate that we might it's not 100% that we'll get one there's a possibility that we won't. I think it's going to happen. I find it hard to believe that we won't, given where the CBA um, negotiations are at this point. But, okay, let's see. Mets are probably set on the position player side unless they trade at McNeil after the presumed lockout. Focus is now on rotation and bullpen depth pieces. Um, okay, this doesn't talk about buys. This just emphasizes that um, Mets might not do anything position player-wise until post-lockout. Which, again, could mean that Baez doesn't sign anywhere until post-lockout. If the Mets get him, that's fine. When they, It doesn't matter if they get him pr before or after. I just really hope they keep him. Um, you know, there's been rumblings with the Jeff McNeil trade, too. I'm not sure if you saw that. The Michael Mayer uh, reported yesterday. I believe that multiple teams have checked in on Jeff McNeil and his availability trade-wise. So, you know, just like the trade video that we did on the channel, um, that's doing really well. Thank you so much for the support on that one, folks. Um it does look like that guys like Don Smith, J.D. Davis, Jeff McNeil. I, I would, if I'm a betting man, I would say two of those three are New York Mets next season. Right now, I would say that. That's crazy. And like the funny thing about, I was talking to my buddy Scott um, about this exact situation. Like if those three guys are back on the Mets and they're bench pieces, like that's insane. I mean, that's a ridiculous depth that we would have. Um, but they're also awesome trade pieces if they do want to bring in more players that uh because obviously they all three of those guys that you mentioned they had down years for the Mets a lot of players had down years for the Mets last year for whatever reason but it's going to be interesting to see what they do the trade market's getting hot uh the Mets are going to be redoing this entire team this offseason we're getting a, a really good understanding of you know the vision that they have right now um they're all in on bias right now and I think I agree with you Wardy it's not really necessarily if the Mets are in on bias because we know that they're going to offer him they say that they're going to match any offer that he gets and maybe even go up and beyond it to bring bias here it's going to be up to Javi himself. Does he want to play second base? Does he want to stay in New York and trust the vision that we got here? But when it comes to Jeff McNeil and J.D. Davis and Dom Smith, man, you know, if the DH is in, in is a thing, which I think we're all expecting, right? Um, I feel like Dom Smith would would have to stay here. I feel like that's, that's a really good DH option. I feel like, you know, putting Dom Smith at first, Pete Alonso at DH, that makes a lot of sense. Um, because we ask, we need a lot of depth. If you have a DH, you need some guys that can, you know, sub in and out because also injuries are, are a thing as well. So, um, Jeff McNeil, I, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, I'm really high in Jeff, but I don't know. Did he peak already? Because Jeff McNeil was unbelievable in his first couple of seasons with the Mets and he's been trending downwards. And I don't know if that's somebody that the Mets have an idea of he's part of the future or not. So it's going to be interesting to see if they uh, move on from him or not. And then JD is the same situation. Um, and then Eduardo Escobar, I feel like that's such an underrated signing. You know, I really feel like he's such a versatile piece to this Mets infield. He had 28 homers last year. Like, what? Like, that was awesome. So, um, if the Mets really want to go top heavy and they want to bring in a guy, and Escobar could be a utility guy like Jonathan Villar off the bench, um, that would be crazy. Um, I know some Mets fans want to bring Chris Bryant and Javi Baez. I don't think that's going to happen. No, but... I, th I think that there's <laughs> one. I think there's room for literally a Baez infield-wise. And then maybe a trade, if anything, at yeah. third. But I think that I think Escobar really gives him flexibility. Um, he really is. I, I think the Mets will still search for potentially an up, you know an upgrade at the third base position. But they have comfortability now. Should it not happen? 
or they're going to be just fine. And like, let's be real. If you have Escobar at third, it doesn't matter that the guy is in a gold glove when you still have Lindor and Javi as your middle infield. That makes sense. I'm down. I see a quick tweet from Passon about the lockout. Um, okay, tell me in one second. I'm going to just address Super Chats. Again, guys, thank you so much for the donations. Help us get to uh, 800 likes uh, for the next short-term goal in the stream. would really mean a lot to my 1,000-plus viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Esco with the $5 donation. Pete said he wouldn't move to DH. Pete said he wouldn't move to DH permanently, but obviously he would be willing to do it, just not like for every day. Like he wants to still play first base. I honestly um, wish, I hope that he stays at first, me personally. I, I'm someone Pete, that thinks sure, he's getting Pete, better and better. Pete was, Pete was a top, I think Pete was a top 15, top 20 first baseman. Like he was solid. He I yeah. looked at his numbers. He was literally like the exact same as Matt Olson too in a lot of ways. I'm someone that argues with people saying like, no, he shouldn't go to the DH. He should play defense at first because he has that mindset. He wants to be a gold glove. He has aspirations to be a good defender. Yeah. He wants to be an everyday first baseman. That. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that at all. Um, Christopher with the $2 donation. Thank you so much for that, my man. He says, are Max Scherzer jerseys out yet? I want one. No, but you can hear. All right, guys. It's, it's Cyber Monday. I'm not sure if the MLB shop is doing, I'm assuming they're doing sales. Guys, if there's sales on custom jerseys, jump on that shit right now. It's exactly what I did with the Lindor jersey. I got a custom right when the Mets trade for him. It was cheaper than getting the uh, the actual like pre-made one with his number, and it, and it only it did not take long. Other people wait months to get a Lindor jersey. So, go on MLB, check if there's sales going on for Cyber Monday. I gotta do the same once I'm off stream, um, off air live, and see if there's anything. Because if there is, definitely jump on that, folks. Um, one more donation I want to get to here before we go any further. Um, Jay, the steel just changed the entire culture with Uncle Steve at the top. We now will be serious front runners for every trade deadline offseason ahead. Absolutely. I mean, look, they're not going to go away prospects left and right, but they're building something here through free agency. And this is the beauty of doing stuff through free agency, spending the money. This is the Dodgers way. You know, the Dodgers have built their farm because they've been so willing to spend through free agency. So they don't have to part ways with too much of their prospects. So this is huge for them. But I will say too that, yes, it was a huge trade for the Dodgers at the trade deadline to get Scherzer and Trey Turner. Trey Turner is going to be huge for them. But in hindsight, now that they've lost Scherzer too, that does dampen the mood a little bit on that trade for them because they gave up two of their top prospects in Josiah Gray and also the catching prospect that I'm, uh, um, I think I'm blanking on the name right now. I don't know why I am. Um, but what do you want to say? Yeah, I just want to bring up that, you know, you, you brought it up, the chat brought it up, but we have to realize that this Mets team are not only building this team to win now, <laughs> but they're they're trying to build a sustainable winner, and it's a really big deal that they were able to keep the draft picks because now what do we have? Two first-rounders this year officially, right? We're not giving up one of those. As, um, long, as long as they don't sign someone like a Robbie Ray, you know, or anyone that has a compensation pick, yes, yeah. love two first round picks. So, like, they're they're holding on. They understand that the farm system is top heavy right now. We don't have that much depth that, that, that we would want. So, if the Mets can hit on those draft picks and we can really bolster this farm system, like, that's so big for this Mets team moving forward. And I know that, you know, we want to win now. We want to win now. But the long term is more important, in my opinion, because you want to be able to have a sustainable winner. You don't want to have a little flash in the pan and win for two years, and then you're just you, – you, you tear it off, and then you're bad for five years. Steve Cohen is trying to build a dynasty right now. He's trying to build a team that's competing for the World Series year in and year out, and that's exactly what we're seeing um, in full in full swing. You know, the fact that we have all this draft capital on top of us going in free agency, and I like that you, you brought up the Dodgers because that's really what – Right when Steve Cohen came here, he always brought up the Dodgers. He's trying to, you know, mimic that uh, mindset and that structure to the Mets in his own way, and that's exactly what they're doing, man. They're not sacrificing prospects. Yes, we gave up P. Crow Armstrong, um, but that that was something that you know that wasn't even this regime. I mean, it was, it was, you know, whatever. We're not going to get into that. But <laughs> I do love that the Mets are bolstering this farm system. Excited for this upcoming draft, and man, I feel like this Mets team is getting so excited. I just need opening day and. We're versing the Washington Nationals on opening day. Oh, my God. Uh, By the way. <laughs> I got to go now. Uh, I don't know if that's home or in Washington. Oh, wait, here's the thing, though. Are they going to make Scherzer? They're, Scherzer isn't going to be pitching opening day. It's going to be DeGrom opening day. Scherzer will go day two. So go go to game two. Yeah. Game two's going to be a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. Everyone jump on those both. tickets now. I'll, I want to go to both, yo. DeGrom I want to I want to go to both, too. Trust me. But I'm saying, though, just jump. Jump on. I, I would if you're trying to see Scherzer's first game. As long as he's healthy, it's gonna be game two. So, yeah. That oh my god, that's crazy, dude. He's gonna be carving up the Nats all year long. That's so like so bizarre to think of. Pain. 
you could feel our pain now in Nationals. Like you won your World Series, cool. You're gonna suck forever now. I hope. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, here, a couple of things I want to address. Uh, we'll get to donations, but some reports came out while we've been talking. I'm going to get shout out everybody in the chat, folks. Help us get 800 likes and help us get a 12K subs for the next short-term goal here at Wardy N. NYM as we break down me and Richie at Mets Media. The breaking news that, yes, Max Scherzer has signed a three-year, $130 million deal, over 43 mil per year. He's making $87 million in his first two years, and then he has an opt-out after the second year. I don't see how he opt-outs, though. I, I really don't. Um, two executives believe... Corey Seager will sign today. Javi Baez could also get done before the end of the day. Max Scherzer's deal is the only uh, the start of what could be a busy Monday. Yeah, I expect more. I, I could see Seager happening today. Uh, you know, if the Mets aren't going to do any any more position moves prior to the lockout, then I don't know what that means for Baez right now. But again, we'll I thought see. I saw a report that Baez might wait until after the lockout. So yeah, he cool. might like again, the- but but he might also sign today. So like we don't know. And there's emphasis to get a lot of moves done today because they need enough time to get the medical cleared. Because if a medical is pending by a lockout, the deal isn't done yet. So like they have to get like ahead of it before they even get to the lockout date in December. Um, let's see. <laughs> Estimated current opening day payrolls. Seattle Mariners, 57 million. Saw that. Guardians, 46.7 million. Pirates, 40.2 million. Orioles, 37 million. Max Scherzer, 43.3 million. Max Scherzer has a higher payroll than numerous teams in the league. And add add another 15 mil to that for the Nationals have to pay him. I yeah. Oh my God, that's <laughs> he's making so wait. So he's making 43 and a half first year. So do math for me. 43 and a half plus 15. Oh, Is yeah, that 58 and a half? Yeah. It's 58 and a half million dollars he's making. That's ridiculous. Per year, including the deferred money. W- like what? Wait, did you see the Mike Puma tweet about uh, Gary Sanchez? No, let's get it. Hold on. The what Mets, is it? The Mets could be paying attention tomorrow to whether Gary Sanchez is tendered a contract by the Yankees. New GM Billy Epler is connected to Sanchez from the Yankees organization. Sanchez has at least been discussed, along with possible Tigers non-tender uh, Matthew Boyd. Ugh. Sanchez doesn't know defense if it smacked him in the face. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't really see how. San- Let me put it this way: if the Yankees are if the Yankees are going to part with Gary Sanchez, that should be enough of a red flag for the Mets to be reluctant and try and go after Gary. The Mets don't need crazy offense from their catching position as long as they continue what they're doing. And we got Francisco Alvarez coming. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, yeah. So I do know though that in regards to non-tender candidates, someone that I hope that the Mets show some interest in, uh, potentially give a flyer to, is Matthew Boyd. He's southpaw from uh, the Detroit Tigers. He yeah, was non tendered. He was brought up in this. Yeah, as well. yeah, he was non tendered yesterday. Um, he used to be Michael Conforto's teammate back in college, uh, which won't matter now because Mike's not coming back. I think we can all under- figure that one by now. Sadly, as a Michael Conforto lifer, what him the best wherever he lands. But yeah, Boyd's a guy I do hope that the Mets uh, uh, really throw a flyer at um, because he's someone that still very much can bounce back. I think if Jeremy Hefner gets a hold of him, there's potential there. But oh, hot take hockey. If you guys don't know John Hate Kaki, fantastic hockey YouTuber. Make sure to check him out. Does great content. Great friend. Thank you so much for the kind words, my man. Hope you're doing well. I want to address a couple donations, and then we'll go further here in the stream. Christopher Ferraro, what number will Mad Max uh, be? I, You know what I honestly think Scherzer might wear, which is going to make it all that more weird? 34? No. Syndergaard? Oh. That, that might, maybe. <laughs> I think he might wear 30. Which would be Conforto. So I just have to tape my Conforto shirts and put shirts <laughs> over it. I, I think he could wear 30. But again, we'll see. I, yeah, I, I'd yeah. imagine it'll be somewhere in the 30s. Yeah, the thumbnail that I made for my video, it was like a, I saw an edit from Fox uh, MLB and they had him as number 30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I saw that too. Um, I'm easy. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. I would sign Brian over buys. Brian provides more versatility. Look to trade for John Means. He's available. John means I don't see happening because I don't think the Mets want to give up the assets when they can address the rotation through for agency like they did with Scherzer and will continue to do. Bryant does give you more versus if this in the scenario where the Mets got Bryant, they would put Escobar to second base, which he can handle fine. And then you would have Bryant at third base and potentially corner outfields at times. The down the only issue with that, however, is that you are sacrificing sacrificing your defense. Um Javi Baez is a far superior defender than both Escobar and Bryant, and it's really not close. So you wouldn't have nearly as much of a lockdown middle infield defensively that you would be hoping for 
if you do in fact get Bryant. So that's something to keep in mind if they were to go the Bryant route potentially. I think Bryant's going to go to the Mariners or Phillies though. Reports came out today that both of them are in. I could see KB going to the Phillies too because they're desperate for anything right now. And he's connected to Bryce Harper uh, to Las Vegas natives. I could see it happening on a big contract that's thrown at him. Um, but question to you right now, Richie. I yeah. know you've been such a big Marcus Stroman fan, as have I when it comes to the player. But, you know, there's been a lot of controversy. I'm sure you've seen a, a decent amount of it on social media recently with, with Stroman. And it feels from how everything has directed us to this point, it doesn't feel likely that he's going to come back. So, and I think that's more so on the Mets doing than it is on his which is a little bit of a surprise. I thought it would be the other way around heading into the offseason. Again, anything can happen. We'll see. But um, let me know uh, what your stance is on Marcus right now. If you, yeah, if um, you're, if you know, you're aware of what's happening. Yeah, I am aware. We saw that he tweeted himself that he's the own, he's his own source, saying that the Mets have other plans in terms of the starting pitchers. Obviously, that they were higher on Max Scherzer. They were higher on uh, Gaussman, even though we know that he's gone. Um, and that's definitely surprising. I feel like that Strowman would be a, a – good fit to bring back um we know that he has a you know it's nothing new Strowman's always been a, a guy on twitter voicing his opinion you know about all these different things so that's something i'm not surprised about but um i am shocked that the, the mets don't really you know value uh Strowman because it is hard to win in this market and he proved that he can play at a high level here putting up consistent numbers uh energy through the roof defensively he's great you know everything Strowman brought to the table you know i tweeted out last night when all this thing was happening i said okay if the mets can sign scherzer and re-sign Baez and re-sign Strowman, like I'm going to be, I'm going to freak out. And I know it's very unlikely. And you know, in my brain, I think Marcus Strowman is out the door um simply because the Mets don't want him back. Um, and I think that he's gonna get a bag somewhere else. Uh, because I don't know the type of money he's trying to bring in. And you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Like, how much money are we actually gonna spend in this offseason? Because if we do give Strowman a contract, I mean, I think he's gonna want more of a long-term deal because he's younger. Um, and if you want to, you know, pair him up with Scherzer and DeGrom, like that would be the ridiculous one, two, three punch. But, you know, in my head, I think Marcus Stroman's definitely gone uh, based on all the reports, especially from what Stroman's saying on Twitter. Yeah, no, I, I think th I'm, I'm not sure that you've seen this, but Stro obviously has said things that have been controversial, to put it lightly. And, you know, he's been called out a lot, too, because of an ethnic slur that he like liked to tweet about in yeah, regards to uh, Anthony DeComo. He tried to backtrack. Obviously, it's not a good look. And I'm not denying the fact that he's went through hardships in his life like daily when it comes to people being racist towards him. They absolutely are. Like he he showed it happens every day. And I can only imagine what he goes through, how much that, that affects your mentality. It's a terrible thing. I wish that on nobody. No one should be acting like that at all. But on top between that, between the constant, you know, targeting of the media, regardless on if we're for or against the Mets media, it's still something that is not necessarily a good look. And also the fact that he went out of his way to reply and saying how he believes that, you know, that the Met, he knows that the Mets are preferring guys like Kevin Gosman and Robbie Ray over the Mets. And that's where that really became the biggest flag for me personally, because who's not to say the Mets wouldn't be able to get Stro Stroman and Robbie Ray. Who's to say that they wouldn't be able to get Stroman and Gosman. This was prior to Gosman signing with Toronto and the Mets gained Scherzer. I was just talking about this yesterday, but my point is, is that, He's shooting himself in the foot, it really feels like, by going public on this. And when in reality, it really burns a bridge at all on if the Mets were going to, say, pivot to Stroman in a scenario where they lose out on both Gosman and Scherzer. You know what I mean? So it, it's not – I can understand frustrations, but at the same time, you have to understand this is a business. You shouldn't be all that surprised that you're not priority number one when you actually have a realistic shot at someone like Max Scherzer, in which the Mets did. They actually landed him. No, this isn't a slight on Stroman and his talents at all, but there's no denying that Mad Max was the best pitcher on this market. There's no denying that Kevin Gosman has a lot of really good upside too. And even though that I think Stro has a better chance for longevity-wise on a deal, given that he's younger, given that he's been more consistent in his career, they're very close between him and Gosman. They aren't far apart at all in regards to their analytics over the past multiple years in their career. So I really think he just shot himself in the foot quite a bit. And it's unfortunate for his sake how everything has gone on because, again, we're talking about Someone like myself, I've been a supporter of Strowman's. I know you have been a heavy supporter of his. We know how talented the guy is, but just you, I think he's, I think he's going to face a rather harsh lesson on when to keep things, when to keep things in the house, you know. And yeah. it also doesn't come off appealing for a potentially opposing clubs when you're voicing your opinion, saying that I'm not even prior, priority number one for my team. How do you think that's going to make opposing teams feel that are in similar spots like the Padres or other teams that need starting pitching help, right? 
they're wondering why aren't the Mets prioritizing Stroman after having a strong year? You know, is there something more to that? It, you know, what are the factors that led Stroman in, into departing with the Blue Jays? There was some a lot of mixed reporting going on there. So I don't know if there's something inner besides the social media aspect that we know, but clearly th there's something happening that is making the Mets believe that, you know, he's not priority number one. And I have to stand by that notion until proven otherwise. If Stroman goes and walks and goes somewhere else and he dominates and, and say the Mets signings go awry, even Scherzer, then yeah, then he was right in the end. But until we get there, it's very hard to believe that would be the case. Yeah, I 100 percent agree with everything you're saying. You know, he's not really helping his own case on on Twitter. He, you know, he has a platform. He uses it in his own way. Um, whether you know, and people criticize Steve Cohen for the same thing in his own unique way. Some people don't think Steve Cohen should be on Twitter, even though I love that Steve Cohen's on Twitter and interacting with us. Some people think that Stroman should calm down on Twitter. Maybe he should. Some things he says that he shouldn't really bring up because you know, calling out the Mets and calling out you know that he's basically giving inside info. Like he's a reporter about himself, <laughs> uh, which is really crazy. Uh, I know that we want to know everything that's happening, but it's definitely not helping him out in the end. But I feel like if the Mets were not able to bring in Scherzer, and then they were, and then they uh, like from the start they told Stroman that we're not interested in you, and we we missed on Mad Max and we missed on Gosman, and then uh, Stroman signed elsewhere, that would have been way more of a big deal. But the fact that we got Max Scherzer, I'm not really too concerned about Stroman walking out of the door. Um, like th that's where my mindset is right now, because honestly, like three or four days ago, I had no thoughts that I, we had any chance of getting Mad Max. Cause I remember last year, the reports at the trade deadline, he said, I don't want to come to New York, um, because of the rivalry. And I told you Wardy that as well, like through text, I'm like, yo, like, there's no way he's coming to the Mets. He hates us. Like I thought like, there's no way, but you know, I was wrong. I was, I was completely wrong. And I'm so happy to be wrong. Um, but it feels good that we're, we have players that want to come to New York and they're talking to Cohen and they understand that they're pitching not only what their what what their vision is this year, but their long term vision of the structure of this franchise moving forward. And they're buying in, you know, Starling Marte. He said that he wants to win a World Series. That's why he came here. Max Scherzer, he wants to bring a World Series to New York. That's why he came here. So the whole Marcus uh, Stroman situation, I definitely think it's going to um, I don't think he's coming back to the Mets and he's definitely not helping his own case on Twitter. Yeah, you know, again, you and I are in the same agreement. But a couple of things I want to get into, folks, as we're getting towards the latter half of this stream. Again, thank you all so much, everyone chiming in. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you guys have been enjoying the breaking news live stream on the New York Mets signing Max Scherzer to that three-year $130 million deal. Juan Diaz, great member on the channel. Thank you so much for the donation. Mets have been working hard. Can't blame the front office now if the team doesn't perform. We need a bulldog manager. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better, Juan. Thank you so much for the donation. Hype in the chat for Juan. Um, Kieran, thank you so much for the $5 donation as well. Reports on Twitter, Red Sox are heavily interested in Strowman. Love the content, dude. I could see Strowman with the Red Sox. I really could. That would that would make a lot of sense for them. They need that starting pitching sure. depth. I think that he would do nicely um, at, for sure in Boston. Uh, that, that wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Even though I know that I feel he prefers out West, I think the Angels will get him, especially after losing out on Scherzer, in my opinion. I think they're going to throw the bag at Strowman or someone along his lines. But Kieran, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Um, a bunch of things I want to get into, folks. There was a report that came out seven minutes ago at the time of being live here from Andy Martino that lefty reliever and starting pitching depth market moving today. Mets are active there as previously reported. So Mets, as we said already, are still ingrained in the market right now, especially pitching-wise, both starters and relievers. Um, so we'll see what comes of it today. You know, uh, As of now, we'll probably go on the stream for – just a little bit longer, and then we'll get out of here. And then I'll probably be live again this evening. Richie, I'll see what your schedule is if you want to chime in for that as well. But, you know, we might – I think we're going to see more moves by the Mets today, which is just nuts. You think that Max Scherzer, oh, that's it. You know, no. They're, they're still far from done. <laughs> we balls deep, baby. <laughs> Praise Cohen, says says Tim. That's fine. <laughs> I've been a chat at Tim. He's been a great supporter and beyond generous friend on the channel. Um Richie, you know Tim. You met him when we met up with uh, him. Of course, I know and, Tim. And I think like his brother is friend at the uh, pregame for the Mets earlier this season. Yeah, Tim's the man. I always I always support Tim. He's always very active with me on Twitter. Awesome. Um, he's the man. Shout and out to everybody, everybody in the chat real quick. I just want to say something. Thank you, everybody, that's been showing my guy, Wardy, so much love on YouTube because he's absolutely killing it. Me and him go way back. You know, we, we – the way we met on YouTube is pretty crazy, and it's crazy how far we came. And seeing you go live, like, you're just killing it. I don't know. 
you know, as you guys know, I'm a YouTuber as well. I go live. And for Wardy to go live for seven plus hours, like he's a maniac. He's Mad Max of his own. I'm like, not we, healthy. We, we got Max <laughs> Kircher on YouTube just going absolutely crazy right now. Just doesn't end streams. And I just got to give you all the credit in the world because you're killing the YouTube game right now. Mets, Mets fans are very happy to have a content creator like you that goes live when there's breaking news, that stays on waiting for news, giving everybody all the greatest updates. So shout out to everybody in the chat for giving Wardy all the continuous supports, all the donations, hitting the like button, getting him to 11K. You guys are sick. Mets fans are the best. And I'm so happy to be part of this Mets community. And I'm so excited to get back into the swing of things on Mets media because, um, as you guys know, I have content um, about the Jets and the Knicks. And I got other channels about the NFL. So I'm very overwhelmed. And I told myself I'm going to get back into the game with, on Mets media right when they start making some moves in free agency. And here we are today. So if you guys want to check me out on Mets media, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. I'll be posting content all throughout the offseason. I'm excited to continue this journey with you, my man, of covering this awesome franchise that we love so much and we got so many passionate Mets fans in the chat that just loves everything about this team and we're all in this together man I just want to give you guys all the credit in the world in the chat because the support means so much to us and we're all in this together absolutely god bless you my man you know how much I appreciate you and appreciate everyone but I cannot begin to tell you how much I always appreciate the kind words yeah our story is crazy you know I think uh, us is a great example of almost like having a pen pal or something like you meet online and then you actually become friends out of it. You know, you actually hang out. That's things that Richie and I have done over the past year through a Mets fandom and content. So I, I love it so much. Again, cannot begin to tell you how much I appreciate you, Richie and continue the great work on your end. I know awesome things are coming for you for sure. Um, and everyone in the chat that's been watching live or in replay, know how much I beyond uh, love and appreciate everyone else in the stream. You guys are the absolute best. Uh, Michael Conforto and the Rangers are looking in a six-year, $178 million deal. I don't know if that's cap or not, so if someone can double-check, I think that's cap. But let me know in the chat. Again, again, guys, thank you all so much, everyone that's been chiming. Appreciate you guys. Richie, I'm going to go. I'm going to go use the restroom real, real quick. But why don't you see what the chat's thinking right now in regards to um, right now with initial reactions of Scherzer Moore and potentially what's the next move for them if it's not bias? Like what kind of pitchers are they maybe looking at? Make sure to let them know. I got you, my man. Awesome. All right. I'm taking over Wardy's stream for a couple minutes, guys. What's good? For everybody that don't know who I am, I'll just briefly introduce myself. My name's Richie. I have a YouTube channel as well about the New York Mets. That's titled Mets Media. I got YouTube channels all over the place about the Jets and the Knicks. So just in case you don't know who I am, that is who I am. Uh, Wardy and I have been going uh, live throughout the entire uh, seasons. We do season recaps and stuff, series recaps. We go crazy all throughout the offseason going into the uh, season. So it's always a privilege to hop on Wardy's stream and talk to you guys in the chat. It means a lot. So let's get into the chat, guys. What do you guys want to say? Um, hey, Richie, how you doing? What's good, Eli? I see you in the chat. I remember you. What's good, everybody? It feels good to be back, you know, talking about the Mets. It's been a while. Um, it's hard to balance talking about, um, you know, the Jets and the Knicks and the Mets at the same time. So um, I see that a news, Michael Conforto might be going to the Rangers. You know, honestly, going into this season, I didn't – into this offseason, rather – I'm a big Michael Conforto fan, but I knew he was gonna. I knew he was gonna be gone. My gut feeling had a had a you know okay. Michael Conforto's probably walked out of the door. But my biggest concern with that was who are they gonna replace him with? And they replaced him with Starly Marte, and kind of. So I'm okay with that. I love how this outfield is shaping up for the New York Mets. Um, I just feel really excited. Like guys, I want to ask you guys a question in the chat. Like, how do you feel about the, the lineup right now, offensively speaking? You know, adding a guy like Starling Marte at the top of the lineup to go along with a Pete Alonzo and a Francisco Lindor. Like, how how do you guys feel like this lineup is shaping up? And getting a guy like Kenna, who is an on-base machine, Eduardo Escobar is coming off 28 U home runs that can play third and second. I mean, I feel like this offense has a lot of potential going into the season because – I just feel like this Mets team is shaping up so beautifully. And it was so many question marks heading into this offseason for me in particular. Like, where are they going to spend the money? I know Steve Cohen's going to open up the bank. But who is he going to spend the money on? And that's exactly what he does. He gets three position players in one day. And then he pivots to a guy at Max Scherzer who we all grew to hate for uh, just because he dominated us all those years. I always respected the hell out of Max Scherzer. I love his killer mindset. But now he's back on the Mets. Let's go. Uh, so. I'm feeling great. How about you, Richie? I'm doing good. What's good, Stephen? Hey, how you doing, man? Timothy, Timothy, with another ten dollar donation. I cannot uh, click your. I cannot click on the uh, comments to bring them up on the screen. That's Wardy's job. But Timothy, love your love you both streaming together. Tyler, give money to Richie. And yes, Tyler, that's <laughs> he watches this stream too. 
I appreciate yeah. you, Timothy. Yeah, we'll send we'll send the Venmo Richie's way. Thank you for the donation, Tim. I really <laughs> appreciate that. Thank you, everyone, for the donations and the support as well, guys. We're going to be wrapping up the stream in uh, you know, a couple minutes here, folks. We'll be going to around the two-hour mark or so in the live stream. But I did want to mention something that's very accurate regarding um, our good friends at the 7-Line Army. Shout out to Darren and everyone. They just tweeted this out. And my just the thought of this is ridiculous, right? And that is the fact that a seven-game series, Max Scherzer and Jacob deGrom would start four of those games. Wait, say that again? In a seven-game series, Max Scherzer and Dake, Jacob Degrom would start potentially, you know, four of those games. No, they wow. wouldn't start four. Actually, I don't see that happening. I could see them in a seven-game series. I, I could see them in one and two and six and seven. If that's that's the only way it could happen, right? Yeah, we're talking just a couple of days rest. That'd be yeah, crazy. I mean, Scherzer's done it. Degrom actually did it for us in 2015. He came out of the pen. Yeah, literally when he was a rook, he's like, "All right, yeah. bet I'm gonna do this right away." He's an animal. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't know, man. I just I, I just want to get to the season already. <laughs> I know. We're I just hope the lockout doesn't kill the vibe. Like, chill out. Like, let's get baseball when we're supposed to. My birthday's on April first, and that's always the best time of the year. That's a great point. Begin, and like, I need baseball on my birthday. <laughs> like, it's always the best time. Yeah, we we all need it, bro, for sure. I want to address another rotation. I mean, not rotation donation. Here, um, thoughts on the Jets win over the Texans? That's for uh, Texans. That's for you, Richie. Thank you for the donation. I'm not going to get deep into the Jets, but I will be live at four o'clock um, on my Jets media channel. So if you want to hear you go. me go crazy about the Jets, I'm not going to bore all the non-Jets fans in here about my thoughts about the Jets. But a win is a win, and I'm happy the Jets defense got back on track. If you want to hear my thoughts more about that game, check me out, Jets media. I'll be live at four o'clock. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Make sure to check out my man. Want to address this comment? Cause I know we said it a bunch now CBA lockout thoughts and free agency uh, freeze thoughts. Okay. So free agency freeze obviously happens because of the CBA lockout. They go in hand with each other. Uh, my initial thoughts are all I hope is that in the assumption that the lockout does happen, which everything is indicating that it will, it does look like the Mets will be in a spot where one, it's going to benefit them with their managerial search. And also it's something where, I just hope that doesn't drag out too long. Like I, I hope that at the at the longest it goes a month. If it goes multiple months, that'll suck. Because again, CBA lockouts can go like upwards right close to spring training, man. That's the pain in the ass about them. And no one wants to just have nothing to talk about, nothing exciting for multiple months on end. Because the MLB offseason is fun. You know, I, there, if there's anything that's been up uh, beneficial towards the lockout happening, it's the fact that all these moves are happening now. Like teams feel adamant about game moves done because you don't know what terms of player, you know, pay and all these different things are going to be once the new CBA agreement is done and over with, you know, that pay could be very different towards players. Potentially a lot of things are going to change with the CBA and clean a, hopefully a universal DH among other things. Um, Michael Mayer did report that the Mets are connected to Rodon and Kikuchi. I'm aware of that. I said that before he even tweeted that out. I said, you know, that makes perfect sense considering they're both uh, Scott Boris clients. So I love that. Man, if the if the Mets get Carlos Rodon, I think I'll lose my mind even more just because of the fact of how just it solidifies everything. You know, it it a one, two, three of DeGrom, Scherzer, Rodon is not even fair. It's just stu it's disgusting, quite frankly. Like, let's take a moment. I just want to look up Rodon's numbers quick so you can understand what I'm saying. Again, Rodon is someone that has been dealing with injuries in his career. So that's the biggest reluctance behind going after him just because you need to make sure that the guy's healthy has breakout year in his walk year. So there's normal concerns with that as well. But Rodon in 2021 had himself a 2.37 year array in 24 starts, 132 innings pitched, had a 4.9 war, was just an absolute horse. He had uh strikeouts, I'm trying to see what strikeouts he had. Um where is his strikeouts at? I'm losing them. I don't know why I don't have the strikeouts here. Um, but Rodon's been very soft. He was he was an animal. He threw a no-hitter this year. Um, and he's also someone that has fluctuated with his velo quite a bit, though. He can easily touch 100, and he's also dropped down to the low 90s, um, going in hand with a shoulder injury that he endured in 2021. So that's definitely something that comes off a little alarming that the not just the Mets, but many teams are being wary of and going after him. You know, he had a sub-1 whip at 0 0.957. Absolute stud, though. ERA plus on 183, strikeouts on 185, and only 132 innings pitch. That's pretty, pretty nasty from the guy. So we'll yeah. see where Rodon happens. Kikuchi's a, a guy that would be far cheaper and would be uh, back half the rotation. I wouldn't be against Kikuchi at all. 
I would love Kikuchi even more, though, if the Mets were smart and went the intellect route about getting Kikuchi and Suzuki. That would help Suzuki's transition to the MLB better, too. So I don't think Suzuki's going to happen now that the Mets have addressed the outfield with Martin and Canna. But I did believe that in the scenario where they land in Suzuki, it would make even more sense to get Kikuchi. So at least he has someone that he can, you know, kind of get more comfortable with on the team together, that he doesn't feel like he's the only one that, you know, speaks his language, if that makes sense. I feel you, man. Quick shout out to Michael King in the chat. He's a member on your channel. He says, what's up, Richie? Great to hear from you. You bring great insight into the sport and knowledge of the Mets. Michael, I appreciate that, man. I'm excited to get back into the swing of things of talking about the Mets. It's been a it's been a while. I haven't really posted about them since the season came to a close because of the Jets and the Knicks being in season. So as you guys know, it's a lot to cover these teams. So uh, it feels good to be back talking about the Mets. I told Wardy I can't wait. And here we are today. And it just feels good, man. It feels refreshing. You guys will see me a lot more on Morty's streams. And I'm excited to be back, baby. Let's go. I'm excited, too. And again, shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you all so much for watching us live on Replay. That Max Scherzer is officially a New York Met, folks. We'll be talking more. I plan to go live again later this evening, probably around 7 p.m. Eastern time. If news happens prior to that, then we'll be back talking about that as well. Mets interested in Matthew Boyd. That is awesome. I would like to get into that, too. Matthew Boyd is a pitcher I just told you about that is available, that he's non-tendered. Mets have a lot of decisions that they have to make with their roster, too. Keep that in mind. Today's the actual deadline, I believe, to tender player contracts. So we're going to see a lot of moves potentially happen today. And I'm really, really excited to get into it all on another stream later. But again, folks, thank you all so much. If you watch this live on replay, make sure to smash that like and subscribe on. Jake with a $2 donation. What's next for the Mets? Buy his bullpen start. We'll be getting into all that and then some again tonight, as long as no breaking news happens prior to it. So again, guys, stay tuned. We'll be live again later this evening and more great content coming on Wordy NYM. As always, do not begin to thank everyone for the continued support, the donations, the subscriptions. We're growing at a tremendous pace. It's all because of you guys. So seriously, thank you all so much. Love and appreciate you all. Like I said, we'll be back live soon. And make sure to check out my boy Richie again, a fantastic sport, sh sharing his great Mets knowledge here on Wordy NYM. Check out Mets Media with his latest Scherzer video. Check out Jets Media and Knicks Media. Uh, Richie, any final words before we wrap things up here? Yeah, man, like I said over and over again, it feels good to be back talking about the Mets and Max Scherzer is a New York Met. I, it doesn't feel real, to be honest. Like, I am so shocked that this man is actually headed to Queens and pairing up with Jacob DeGrom. Mets fans, enjoy this because we finally are acting like an actual big market team. We've been in a big market for, throughout our entire history, but we've never acted like one. But now Steve Cohen grew up in the same hometown as my father in Great Neck, New York, and he's coming to save this franchise and bring big bucks bring in the big fish and we're building an actual real team. Man, it feels good. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for the continuous support for my guy, Wardy. Nobody deserves it more than him. We appreciate you guys. And Thank please you. make sure you check out me. I'm at Mets media. I'm on Twitter as well. If you want to check me out, follow me NY Mets underscore media. You guys know where to find me. Always appreciate hopping on the stream and let's go Mets baby. Woo. Hobby let's go Mets. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you again later today, folks. Peace out. Peace.